What's happening, people? Hope you're all well. Welcome back to the show. We've got the Race for Europe show back. But to be fair, a couple of people on here got a nice break at the weekend, man. I got to chill out because of the FA Cup. Um, so it's going to be a good show because they can just sit there, relax, be a bit neutral. Some of us can't. Um, Tobes is on his way. Don't worry, because we do need to talk about Antonio Conte, as is Pete. Uh, Lewis, big up, man. Haven't seen you for a couple of weeks. How you been, bro? Uh, I was good until Saturday. But we're, we're coping. We're back to coping. Nearly at 40 points, people. Nearly at 40 points. <laughs> oh, big up this probably. In March. In March. Near, near, yeah. <laughs> April. We're going to get to April. And we're three, three minutes away from it, by the way. Three minutes away from 40 points. Yeah, you'll, get there. you'll get there. Don't worry. Yes. Don't worry. Yes. Wait, you know I'm what, not... to, Potts? I've re- I what? clocked watching that intro. You're... You know you're giving Manscaped free advertising every single week on this show with your intro. You oh, know they've got like, I love got... Manscaped. <laughs> oh, oh geez, look Manscaped. If you want to give him a sponsorship, give this guy's been sponsoring you guys for free all, every week. <laughs> <laughs> I'd crop yeah, that shit and say pay me. <laughs> yeah, we could. I could do that. To be fair, I've got. I yeah. kind of. I kind of. They've helped me and Lee out for a bit, so you know it's nice to give a little bit of a payback sometimes, isn't it? Um, yeah, um, Lawless, you'd like to get the 40 points, wouldn't you? That'd be nice. Um, uh, but you didn't, didn't get a chance this weekend, bruv. It was all about Europa Conference League um, for you and getting excited about Lazio going out and a draw against Genk. It's looking like, oh, well, I mean, you are going to win it because you've told me you're going to win it. So you can't back Let's, down now. Uh, re- re- you know, put your hands up if your team is still in Europe. Uh, anyone? You no, might as well not put your hand up, Lewis, because you're going out. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's Real Madrid. Come on. You can put it halfway up. But I, no, but it's I said still done. Still done. I said on this show, West Ham would be the last team in Europe. Yeah. I broke clock is it right twice a day, my guy. Like, you know, oh, yeah. listen, oh, Errol, you were the most outraged. Miracle. Yeah. You was like, you couldn't believe it because you was like, you're gonna stay in longer than Liverpool. I was like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and what happened? Errol, don't, don't take this, mate. He sent me a voice note the other night mocking my accent. Don't, don't take uh, it. Uh, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's terrible. At the end of the day, you've got to win it now. The pressure is on West Ham to win. The pressure was no always, always on them to win because he exactly. said they were going to. So exactly. no I'm going to. I cannot wait for them to go out, and I cannot wait for this show. I, honestly, I cannot wait for it. He has no idea what's coming. It's going to be absolutely beautiful when West Ham get dumped out to Fiorentina or Anderlecht or AZ Alkmaar, whatever the hell they've got left in that. Listen, I'm already looking at flights for the final. I just spoke to my uncle. He said he reckons get me a ticket. Uh, I'm looking at the f- yeah flights. Oh, you big, big Fiorentina fan, mate. Fiorentina, <laughs> <laughs> they might not even get to the final. They're your second team, are they, mate? They're your second team. Newcastle's his second team. Florentina must be his third team. He's turned on Newcastle. He's turned on them. He's turned on them. Oh, yeah, he don't like them anymore because they're above. They're another team that are above West Ham. He don't like them either. Unbelievable. Lewis, are you you having that? Are you having that? This ain't. Is this going to be a walking apart for Real Madrid, Chelsea? Um, maybe we'll go down swinging. Maybe, but I'm not expecting anything. I'm really not. Like, we went there with Thomas Tuchel, did a madness at the burnabout, and we still got eliminated. Now we're going with Graham Potter. It, it doesn't hit the same. And we got to go to the burnabout first. And I also think because of that game, Madrid are going to come ready for us because we, we had them shook. I will say, our last season, we had them shook. Like, I don't think they've been shook of any other club like they were of us when we went 3-0 up. So I don't think that they're going to come and underestimate us. But that also means we're going to face Real Madrid at their best. They also have nothing else to compete for. They're basically done in terms of the league. I think they're eight points off. Eight points off. Yeah. Do you know what scares like me? Yeah. You know what scares me, Lewis? If this Chelsea team of Potter 
do over Real Madrid. And this Arsenal team with Arteta do over Pep and City for the two big trophies that Liverpool have been fighting for for seasons. I'm going to go into a very large hole and I am not going to emerge for a long, long time. Oh, you no. don't have to worry about us, bro. I'm, gonna, I'm oh, going into that hole too far to win the league. Before writing out right now, the draft and the template and everything, that's how I can see it happening. Like, and that's, it's going to be heartbreaking, I'm telling you. It's 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 funny, funny, I remember. Really, man. If you, we manage to beat Madrid, it's City or Bayern. So... I don't think you have to worry about us. Terrible side of the draw, man. It was like... I wanted Napoli's side. They got AC, Inter and Benfica. They got a route to the final if they played yeah. their cards right. They're, and they're, team, they're, like my... 18, they're like 18 points clear in their league yeah. as well. We've absolutely smashed it this yeah, season. Man. They're, they're my, I said Real Madrid, but I think Napoli could do this, you know. I really they're do. Fighting. They're so good. So good this season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are, man. Um, uh, Errol, quickly, I spoke to Matisse and Tobes, me and Lawless did yesterday, and um, they gave Chelsea a chance against Real Madrid. And we said, well, they, they beat Liverpool. And they said, yeah, but Liverpool have been worse defensively than than Chelsea. But I, I, I'm with I'm with Lawless. I think Real Madrid will, be, will beat Chelsea. Mm. Um, I think defensively we could do something. But the difference is I also have to rely on Potter man management, I mean, game management. It's mm. a different guy, and I, ju I just don't think it's going to be enough overall. Something is going to happen. We'll make some individual errors or we'll put a, a poor lineup out or something. I don't think enough things are going to click for us to get through Madrid twice. Is Kante back by then, L uh, uh, Lewis? He's back in yeah, yeah, he was on the bench for the game on Saturday. So That's I think we could get him ready for that. But he also needs to get shot. He hasn't played a league. He hasn't played a game in about six months. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know. If we do something surprising, fair enough. But I just don't expect to see it. Just don't yeah, expect to see it. That will be mad, right? If if you, I'm just thought you lose this, uh, Man United lose whoever they get. All the people that have been saying to me, "Why is Lawless on the race for Europe show? Why is Lawless on the race for Europe show?" And I'm the only one in Europe. You lot are all... I don't care if we win it or not. You imagine how much in the mud you are and how much in the mud the chat is, yeah? All them people that call in for me, why am I on the show? And now, where's Errol? He ain't in Europe. Where's Potts? He ain't in Europe. Tobes? He ain't in Europe. Flipping Pete? He can't remember what Europe's like. Honestly, it's been that long. So, oh my God, lawless, you're shameless. Mate. This so chest shameless. is unreal. Man. So shameless. You're so shameless. Man. We're not even ten minutes into the stream. You shameless man. I'm just, I'm just salivating. Like just the thought of. I'm it. already in the mud, so it's fine. Wow, like all them comments. Yeah, Lewis, really though, this is out. the thing where I don't get, and I hate Chelsea, but at least you're in two European tiers ahead of this clown, and he's giving it like it's absolute. Oh, we are the best out of this whole panel. We're the ones that everyone should be looking up to. They, they don't have a lot, though. Like, here's the thing. If they win the Conference League final, it, it won't mean anything to us. It won't mean anything. No, listen, but Lewis, you, it'll, it'll, it'll be the biggest thing for you guys in about 30 years. No, but listen, Lewis, right? As I said to Matisse, right? Matisse is dismissing this. Doesn't want to be in it. Chelsea, yeah, need to be in that and win it to complete the set. This is the last trophy Chelsea haven't won. If you win this trophy, you've that's it. You've completed football. Yeah, that, that is so, that is the difference. Here's the thing: I'm Ham just fine about it. And a Chelsea mentality. That is the fucking difference, right there, my friend. Wait, the their manager from West Ham is let's try and win the Europa Conference no. League. Chelsea fans don't want to be in it because it's embarrassing. Their greatest ever manager oh, got it tattooed on his body. Yeah, oh my that God. their greatest ever manager was kissing huh? the trophy. Their greatest ever manager was what loving was, that. Mourinho got a Conference League tattoo. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm I'm googling that. No and way. Look at the picture as well of him kissing the trophy. Like, oh, he he does. he's got yes. all three trophies on his shoulder: the Champions League, the Europa, and the Conference League. Ah, oh, yes. Like, if it's on Jose for you, Jose, the King of Europe's body. Yeah. It's fucking legit. Lawless, Lawless, just take your top off, mate. I want to see. Uh, if you've got the playoff, don't let him do that. Final uh, trophy on your chest, mate, from from the championship. Have you got that? Nah, not yet, not yet. Once we complete the yeah. set, this wait guy, if we get to the conference league and we got a complete set. I'll get the. Hey, you know if I mean? we finish seventh and we're in the conference league, cool. Nice, whatever. If we're not in it, oh, I'll be fine. I I will be fine. I'm sure, you won't lose. Yeah, not a wink. 
He wants. He but wants, hey, if he wants, we get right? seven to complete the set, whatever, because there is there is no way he even get even dare get eliminated from the conference league. There's no chance. Now, nah, who would do that? Like, who would who would not even make it out of group stages? Can you imagine what sort of <laughs> shit team mm -hmm. you have to that be? Have to be fucking dead. You have to be some <laughs> dead nobody team. Honestly. Honestly, man, it's a That's hilarious. <laughs> it actually That's was hilarious. one of the funniest part. It was actually funny that they <laughs> actually went out of that competition in the group stage. That was the best part of it. They in the whole year, and shit. <laughs> in the whole year, they sacked Mourinho three days before our final and then decided to walk out the only other competition they had a chance of winning. That is <laughs> mad. <laughs> the biggest band. That's why they're a team of losers. That's why I got that Conte press conference, even though it doesn't make sense from him because he doesn't want to be there long term. Everything said was true. That team's full of losers, top to bottom. It's a mentality of losing. That's why they can't get out of it. The the fucking owners happy with just um profit and performances, Beyonce at the fucking stadium or some shit like that, and them getting Champions League football. The players they only care about. I don't know what they, they don't money, compete for money anything. and living in London. Money they don't even get a lot of money there. That's the maddest thing. But their still, wage structure isn't big. Nah, but they're still getting to live in the capital. They're still getting to do up all, all of the, the shards and all them ones there of a weekend. You know what I mean? You get to live the life a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm saying it's Spurs. Such a loser it's mentality hard. from this club, man. <laughs> That's why I don't man. even take Tottenham as a serious rivalry. Chelsea v Arsenal is my big London derby. I don't care about Tottenham. What's there to care about? Facts like Pochettino's one of his biggest triumphs was getting a win at our grounds. They're not serious. No nah, man, facts. One, What's hilarious dead. though is they actually do try and shoot them. Shoot like Tobes ain't so bad to be honest. Like he, he has said a few things before, but there's some of their fan base are just unreal. They shoehorn them into this. Oh, we are big, big club, big club, big six, big six, big six. Really, it's the rich six, right? Because that's what they are. They're not actually like they don't win anything, do they? You know, I was honestly like bantering them the other day saying, just fold the club. Like, you've tried everything now. Like, just fold. No one would miss them. They don't win anything. They've got a ridiculously deluded fan base. They've got a clown owner. They're more interested in playing scale electrics down in the basement than they are playing football. Do you know what I mean? It's embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. They're, they've got to be the least respected club I have ever seen yet. I was watching uh, mm -hmm. my guy Jace was on the show on the on a Forest channel, yeah, relegation fucking show right and there's all these fans and these forest fans like they start just laughing at tottenham talking about what a pointless club and everyone's just taking tottenham weren't even on the show everyone's just taking the piss out of tottenham for Whoa. no reason they're so Whoa, you know what it's like with tottenham ksi will go around the world and do interviews in front of crowds and they'll just ask the crowd what do you think of tottenham and they'll all just shout shit back <laughs> just dread. I, will, I will come out of a wwe show right and here, what do you think of Tottenham? And the whole crowd will go shit. That's that's what Tottenham are known for. They're losers. Yeah. The whole world knows them for being shit. The only reason why they're even involved is, like you said, because of money and because they had a decent uh, um, group of players at the right time and they could keep up with us a lot. That's it. And Mate, this is the thing. Do you ever see, right you ever see, you ever see this that. happening, Lawless? Do you ever see this happening? And I can't. I, I shouldn't really bring it up because Tobes only to defend himself. But... <laughs> you know what? You know what? There was a point, yeah, that season where we got sixth. I was there was conversations, yeah, Turkish on the show. I was on it. I appeared on it a few times that season, uh, and we was looking at Spurs like side. I like, hmm, you might be, uh, might have to get Spurs out of there. So, boy, listen, next season if we can come back, it it could <laughs> happen because Spurs only one way that they're going. And this is what I always say to this guy, yeah? He thinks that I'm delusional and I bring myself up to Spurs' level. I'm not bringing myself up to Spurs. I'm bringing him down to West Ham. I don't think that we're this, this elite top six European club, but he, they're not. He needs to come down because, yeah, okay, it's great. You get your little participation trophies. Well done, you know, good effort. But you don't take away the things that matter the real trophies, yeah? So come down off your high horse, back to reality, yeah? Stop trying to sit at the big table. That's that's all I all I say. So we can say Tobes, he's one of the real ones. No, he's just as delusional as the rest of them. He just masks it and he flip-flops. He flip-flops a lot. Where's Antonio and all that shit, eh? 
Where is this guy? Why isn't he here for me to cook him? He I is coming on. on Club's carnage, yeah. I missed the Tottenham section on Club's carnage, and now I'm here for it. This guy ghosts. <laughs> He's on his way, man. He's on his he way. Needs to, he needs to. Boy, we need to save it for when he comes on. We just need to just rinse him. Yeah. Well, it was definitely going to get uh, get his chance to come we, back we on those points for sure, man. But oh, well, they Tottenham. chose that club. Wow. Do you know what's funny though, Lewis? I was watching the Chelsea of Everton game on Saturday around a pub, and there's two Everton lads next to me, one of them, which I knew. And they said, um, they we're talking about like who they hate in football and stuff like that. Obviously, Liverpool got a mention and the usual. And um, they said that Tottenham hate Tottenham. There's Ever- Everton fans <laughs> hate Tottenham. <laughs> and I thought, Everyone I really hate Tottenham. There's two reasons to not like. I just thought, wow, you hate Tottenham as well. Oh. There's nothing to like about them. Just- Perfect, really. Yeah, there is nothing. Dan, you're on mute, bro. Dan United. I don't know why. You've gone on mute somehow. But um nah. Can't nah. Can't hear you, he, he said Tottenham shit. Yeah, he agreed. <laughs> he agreed. Check your settings, man, because I can't hear what you're saying, bro. But um I could hear you, but now I can't. Um Errol, looking at the Chelsea think situation, Real Madrid. Yeah, I think it's Dan's audio, but it looks to be Better. I can't hear no echo. Yeah, no, it's I, gone. I could. It's gone now. Um, you obviously lost to Real Madrid, Errol. That's the reason why I believe, personally, Chelsea will struggle. Um, looking at the Champions League, who are you fancying? I said not. I, Napoli are the dark horses. I feel like they've got the easier route to the final. I feel like they've got a ridiculous amount of firepower at the moment. Um, yeah, they, 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 they're hard-pressed to really... Oh, shit! Oh shit! What the <laughs> hell has happened? Oh, no. I was going to the toilet and I pulled my camera cable the out. The camera's on the off. left hand. Oh, oh god, he's got oh, it. I didn't know my down. mic was still on. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to piss. <laughs> oh no! This cable is all wrapped up on the floor, just in a in this a. Is... This is a disaster. I hope my camera still works. Is it? Oh, my. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it does work. It does work. Yeah, it works. We can still see you. Uh, sorry yeah, your about camera, that. Camera went down as quick as West Ham. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've lost me train of thought. Where's this guy? What's he doing? He's here. Right. He's here. He's here. <laughs> Napoli. Yeah. And, and outside of that, I think... The winner of the um, the Bayern, because I don't think Real Madrid will get to the final this year, to be honest. I think it's going to be the winner of the Bayern City game that gets to the final. So it'll be them versus Napoli in Istanbul. Bernard Boy's performing as well, doing in the opening the opening act. I think I'm gutted that we're not even going to be there because that would have been sick to, to watch. Mm. But it is what it is. Yeah, we were maybe yeah, we we had a fucking mountain to climb. We 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 shot ourselves in the foot. We. We put ourselves in a really good position, but got too ahead of ourselves and didn't apply any game management in that first leg. And I said it when I did the watch along at the time, you can't give a Real Madrid team with as much quality as they possess three gifted goals and expect to still then be able to not stop them from scoring goals that they'll create themselves. So, you know, once it was 5-2, it was, it was almost done and it was almost just a formality, that second leg. Gutted we didn't really, as Lewis said, you know, he wants to see his team go out with a bit of a fight. We didn't really do that in that second leg. It was, that was almost a bit of a free hit for us to really just go out there, just go out there swinging, try, try and try and scare them a little bit more than anything else, try and see if we can worry them and, and disturb them. He wasn't even able to do that. He looked comfortable the entire way through. Obviously, then they go and nick it towards the end as well. And I just think it just kind of shows our mentality in that respect has been zapped at the moment. There's a real lack of confidence and belief within the squad. So after that, it was nice to not have to think about the football and on the pitch element of things. But as you're probably aware, Liverpool are, are never, never, never far from uh, the headlines at the moment with how shit we are. Um, <laughs> We, we've had, you know, Bellingham rumours coming back round. So even though it's meant to have been quiet off the on the pitch, there's still loads of rumours and mumbling going on in the background, which ugh, doesn't make it for great reading at the minute. But do you know what? 
it's nice to be able to just sit back. I can't take too many shots this week because we've not been panned by any of our domestic rivals. Um, so our next big games now are all coming the uh, shape and size of Arsenal, Chelsea and City in the next couple of weeks. And they're, that's they're, they're going to be season-defining games. Yes, Dan? Errol, did you get any custard this week, by the way? Or, cr or cream or ice cream for that massive pie from Bellingham, by the looks of it? Anything? Not yet, mate. It's it's not, not yet. Looking, it's not looking good, mate. It's not. I, do you know what though? But I don't mind that though, mate, because I've never been on the Bellingham hype train anyway. So I'm not. Do you not rate him? Fans. No, I rate him. I for, for course I fucking Come rate on, him. Come on, Errol. You'd love him at Liverpool. No, and again, that's not the point. That's not that's not the point I'm trying to make. Of course, I would love him at Liverpool. Have I believed that there is genuine intent in us getting him? Okay. No. I've never been on that way. Grizz was like, Grizz was like, ah, oh, Potts is done. We've got him. Blah, 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 ITK this, ITK no. that. And I'm like, I'm not so sure, man. If Real Madrid or City come tapping, I reckon he could go there. Exactly. It's the Anfield agenda that have been doing it. They've been saying it for, for uh, mm -hmm. oh, he's coming, he's coming. You listen to what I'm saying. It's done and it's done. And I'm like, oh, shut the front door, it's mate. It's you haven't got a clue. It's in my group chat every single day. And the one reason, the one, one of the big red flags for me in terms of Jude Bellingham is, if he, Dan, you've been a victim of it as a Man U fan. In, in recent seasons, you've seen how Liverpool have operated in the market. We've snapped up players that we've wanted within 48 hours and took them from either your club when you felt like your club was going to get them and you thought, ah, oh, oh, Liverpool pulled it off. And you've made it very public at the time that you've got the desire for a Nunes or a Gakpo and then we go and do the business. It's That's the way we've done it. That's the way we operated with Fabinho. It was the way we operated with Thiago, Diaz. And it's worked for us. Don't give people the edge. Don't let people know what you're doing. Move in silence and be a bit of an assassin in the transfer market. And it's worked when we wanted our bigger players. The last player that I can remember where there was a little bit of a saga was Virgil van Dijk. We didn't do it right the first time round. We had to wait. Southampton increased the price tag. But he was the man that we wanted, so we went and got him. This Bellingham thing is rumbled on now for the best part of a year. And for me... That just doesn't smell like a Liverpool deal. It doesn't smell like something we would typically do. So that's why I can't fully get invested in believing it's a done deal. Errol, can I ask a question about that, mate? Then, so yeah. you say that it's it's a year. It's been. It sounds like you know your your belief is it's it's smoke. But if that's the case, why haven't Liverpool signed a midfielder then? Why did why did Liverpool not sign a midfielder with with a midfield that you could see was aging, was injury prone, relying on youth? So so what, why has that not happened? I think we I think we for the first time in a long time we fully dropped the ball because in terms of the midfield aspect of things, I think there was the too many last season. Mbappe doesn't leave PSG. Real Madrid shift the focus to the midfield. They get their man. We lose out. Klopp then says, right, who's our next option? It's Jude. Dortmund say, we're not going to sell him. There's the list of other players that you can get. Klopp says, no, I'll wait a season for my man. What has happened in that time is the, the drop-off in our midfielders has left us looking with their real decline in standard. So now it looks a lot worse. And I think that's what we was gambling on, gambling that we could get one more season out of this midfield and also expecting the price tag to stay at a fixed wage or a fixed level where there was the World Cup coming up there was the likes of City needing obviously reinforcements in midfield, Real Madrid still looking, Man U potentially looking no one predicted Arsenal's resurgence and the money that they've been investing, so we've, we've put all of our eggs in this basket to say alright, for 90 to 100 mil, we'll get you and we'll get the deal done, but inflation, World Cup all of the other factors have now meant that if you really want to compete for Jude Bellingham you're looking to pay about 130 million for his signature, and you're probably going to have to be paying him plus 100 grand a week to just come and entertain those terms. And that's not to say that Man U, Man City, uh, or Real Madrid wouldn't look to pay more. So this is the first time where I genuinely reckon when we've needed to get that big marquee sign and all that big transformative player, we've left ourselves potentially looking like we're going to get egg on our face. If I'm honest, because I think we're going to shit the bed. One more, one more question. Can you hear me? Yeah, very quietly, very quiet. but yeah. Oh. How about now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, Talking so, to so, that. Yeah, I, I, no, because I don't want to look like lawless looking in the camera. <laughs> to... um, the other question is, I'll be, and, and this, is, this isn't this is me trying to take the piss, I've I've said for a while now that I think Klopp goes the end of the season. You have, you have. And, and for me, I what I worry is, if I'm a Liverpool fan, I'm thinking, 
if Klopp's wanted this boy for a year and it's not and now it's not happening, is Klopp taking the season that he's had uh, and looking at it and going, if they're not backing the bloke that I've asked them, and to be fair, they've backed Klopp with every player he's really wanted, haven't they? I mean, every, everyone he's wanted. If they're not going to back him with this, does he then go, I'm not doing anything because there's no one else for me? Do you know what I mean? Because the other side of it is you've obviously scouted this player for, for well over a year. And we, I mean, Bellingham doesn't need bloody scouting anyway. We all know he's, he's elite. But if you're not getting Bellingham... Who's who's the backup, and and is the backup good enough to come in and do a job that you were hoping well, that Bellingham could do? I think I think the, the I think that the the next iteration of that is Bellingham. I think now because we've left ourselves in a situation we have Bellingham on his own isn't enough. But if we now have to pay 130 mil just for Bellingham, it's not going to transform that midfield. That amount of pressure to put on a 19 year old is yeah. almost negligent in itself. So I wouldn't want us to just purely get Bellingham anymore. It doesn't. It doesn't fill the gap. It doesn't elevate us enough to the level where we want to be getting back to. So, if we didn't, but we then decided to get three other midfielders between the price range of thirty-five and sixty million, and so you still end up spending about one hundred and fifty mil across the board. I think he would probably be comfortable because that might be enough player power and enough new new blood within the start on eleven or the squad. Uh, Mount, I can see the, the comment there from the Manchester Fraser or whatever. Mount's not that guy. He's not Bellingham's, you know, under. Is he definitely leaving, Lewis Mount? Is he like well, yeah, he's going? I think he's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Not gone. New, Newcastle, I hear. Newcastle. That's, yeah, that's not the answer for Liverpool, I don't think. Mount. It's, no. not, it's not going to be the answer. But again, it, it depends. If you were to get Mount plus two others, depending on what those other two others look like, you might be able to pacify a, a section of the fan base. But equally, Bellingham will be a big blow if we don't get Bellingham and the midfield isn't adequately reinforced. The, 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 there's going to be an all out Liverpool civil war this summer. Which takes Tillemans on a free. Because this is, um, and again, I'm not mocking, this is where I think you you guys. I'd, I'd, rather, have Gavi, I'd rather have Gavi on a free. My, my man's getting booted out of Barcelona this summer. Not going to be. I heard that today. Yeah. Why? What signing that would be? Is Gavi. He? Gavi, yeah. Registra Three. Registration problems, because, yeah. Yeah, you're not able to register him. So he's had to go back down to a youth contract. He's had to give up his shirt number. And at the end, in his youth contract... What a, what a club they are, by the way. Yeah, in, 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 his youth, in, a, in his youth contract, he can leave for free in the summer. So I'd rather get him. Have you, have you Liverpool fans fully given up on a takeover that happening? Like pretty much right now anyway it, 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 it was always and again I wasn't one of those Liverpool fans that was like hey you know we're getting Qatar money we're getting all your money like it's coming like no I genuinely believe from the statements and from what I've heard from behind the scenes the reality was always going to be it was always going to be some level of investment as opposed to a majority stakeholder but we'll just have to wait and see I don't even know if that'll get sorted before the summer now there's a lot of shit that needs to get sorted in the Liverpool camp and it's weird because we've not been in this much, I wouldn't say turmoil, but this much kind of uncertainty, yeah, yeah and everything kind of disjointed and fragmented for a very long time. So it, it does feel like we're a little bit of fish out of water at the moment. So it's going to be very interesting to see how we put it all back together. But if anyone can help assist bringing it all back together, it's Jürgen Klopp. Do you think he stays then still, Errol? Are you still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not... Until, until, until he has a watershed moment like Conte, my man's got to stay. He's got to... He's got yeah, I agree with him. Back. He's got to stay. He's too loyal to us. He loves Liverpool, the, the club. He loves it. He wants to fix it. I don't think someone can start whispering sweet nothings in his ear. I don't think it needs a lot as well, man, Liverpool. I'm not... I don't think it needs to start again. I really don't. I think the, well, There's a question that you're not asking, Potts, right? That well, you obviously was... You was Putting it on me about protests. Why aren't we doing more to get the board out? Why aren't we doing more? Why ain't Liverpool doing more? Why would Remember Liverpool the want to get rid of their board, though? In the last five years, they've been one of the most well-run clubs no, I've seen. You've not seen Liverpool Twitter in a minute. Bro. That's what I'm saying. There is. If we do not get the 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 transfers and the... the we've just been linked to... I think it was Monaco Sporting Director today. Um, but if we don't get the right pieces of the jigsaw in this summer, I can almost say with is more certainty than I've been ever been able to say anything about Liverpool's predictions all season, there will be a civil war between the fan base. And that is, that is purely because we had, Dan, let me tell you this as well. There's a, there's a banner and there's a plane flying over Anfield in the Arsenal game already planned. There was one over the... Saying, the what? saying what though? 
You haven't Lawless decided what it's going to be. You haven't decided. But they had one over the Manu game. They had one before the Manu game. So there are there are rumblings. There are there is a section of the fan base that is disgruntled and doesn't believe that FSG are the right ownership model or group to be taking us to compete with the Arsenal's, the Man U's, with new owners potentially, new You're the second and... biggest club in the league. You've won the Champions League. You've won the league. You've been playing Champions League football going deep into the competition. You shouldn't be penny binching. Like, and that's yeah, the that's problem. That's the, thing. That's, the, that's the critique. That's the critique of people, people are saying. spent 90 million on Darwin Nunez, though, to be fair. They're not yeah, but penny when you look at it, over the balance of the... Um, and let's go, to, let's go to the whole net spend thing, right? Liverpool fans love to bring it up. Net spend, you know, Coutinho money, all of this. If you look at it, they've spent nowhere near the Arsenal's, Chelsea's. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, Man United's, uh, Spurs. We spent, I, I'm sure, pretty sure we spent more than them this season. Yeah. Do you yeah. Not, yeah. With, with it, do you not think that, and this goes back to Spurs, to United, to Chelsea, to, to Arsenal. Do you not think that FSG, I think, are still struggling from that that Super League hangover? I think they were putting their eggs in that basket thinking we go in there. That's our money. That's our money. That's the money. That's the money. And that's where we go. Do you think but it's where's, the, where's Liverpool's money? Where's the TV money? The prize money? The 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 player sales and all of this. Where's that money? I must Why admit, we, I thought we, that would have got the highest wages. We've got one of the highest wage structures, so we might not have spent as much in terms of net spend, but we've got one of the highest wage bills in the as well. Anyway. The signing on fees. We've got to get a lot of deadwood out of the club this season that probably could have arguably been moved on a season or two ago, depending on who you're talking about. Um, there's, a, there's I say, there's there's the rebuild. There's been a, two new stands, obviously getting um, um, extended in in recent seasons, as well as the, the the runs that we've went on. So there's been a lot of good stuff that's gone on off the pitch, but it's about bringing it back and investing it in the playing staff on the pitch now. Um, my biggest thing, if 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 you know, if I was in charge at the moment, not only would it be the new sporting director or a technical director, whichever way you want to look at it, I would op I'd be looking to opt for an um, some new backroom staff for Klopp. I think he yeah. needs less, less yes men in and around him. I think he needs fresh ideas and people to actually challenge him on some of his stances, some of his tactics. Um, I, I, I don't think that's ever a bad thing if you get the right people in to do that job. I know Sir Alex Ferguson, when he, you know, he, he managed, he kind of recycled that backroom staff a number of times to be able to freshen things up. Um, when it got a little bit stale, I think we we need to we need to do something. Outside of the box, almost. I don't just think buying players and expecting players that because you know how Klopp works. With, when he goes out and buys someone he wants, he still expects them to take three to six months to get fully up to speed. We haven't got that time. Like we are, we are playing on borrowed time at the minute. Liverpool. For I don't Klopp think it'll take. I don't think it, we've got to move, man, because we're talking about Liverpool for way too long. But um, yeah, we've. Uh, I don't think it will take way, uh, that much time. Uh, big up Tobes, by the way. We're going to come to you in a minute, uh, Dan. I'm going to ask you quickly. Um, Man United, are they going to win another trophy this season? And if so, which one's it going to be? Both. Whoa. I'll say it both. I'll say it both. I think, I think we'll win both. I do. Man you City. got next in Europa League? Who you drew? Uh, Seville, Seville, but they've just sat their gaffer, haven't they? I'm about to. The new manager about is coming for you. Sorry, no, no. I, 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 I look. I, I'll say both. I feel confident in saying both as well. We've played. We've played a lot of football this season. We've had a couple of slip ups, but. I'm confident in saying that we'll 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 win both against Fulham. Awful, we all know that Fulham should have won, but for a meltdown. But I, I'm confident. I, I think both. We've got players coming back now. Ericsson will be back in in April. That adds up. That adds some beef into the midfield for us. I'm I'm going both. What a difference a season makes. I was struggling with fourth at the start, guys. Come on now. I was struggling with fourth. Hey, you for the treble. Does anyone, the does treble. anyone think? Does anyone think United will win both or or one? I, think, mm. I, think I, I just can't trust Europe, them. Really. I just can't trust them, man. I, I just yeah, they'll win Europa, but I don't think they'll beat City if they get them in the when they get them in the final. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I think Europa is the one that you got. No, more Brighton will be a tough. Are we so sure they'll beat Brighton? Exactly. That'll be a tough test. Europa, yeah. I think you could have that. Though I think you could take that. Yeah. Mm. Well, fair play, man. Imagine if they Did win Neva. That's a possibility. Still, yeah. still have one more, one more cup. I can't even talk. Go on, next. I've lost that. Yeah, you can't yeah, say shit. We're <laughs> <more. laughs> <laughs> that, that uh, a trophy than the league. My cup, team's so. tenth. I'm, I'm not dunking on anyone this season. I'm just here in it. 
he he just got the early trophy. So don't sit there and say, "What have you won this season?" Because none of us have got to our early flag trophy anymore. that you'd have wanked over if you'd have, if you'd have had it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, that listen, saying? I've got a better trophy to wank over for right for me at the end of the season, mate. So, okay, mate, yeah, if you don't win that trophy, I'm driving to your house and I'm coming for you, mate. Honestly, oh, don't, is, you don't have to drive, trust this me. Is when they go out or live show... stream it, I'll do whatever, but I'm coming. I swear it, when, to God, when, when they come, when they go out, Dan you, Dan, you won't have to go anywhere because when they go out, <clears> everybody's coming on this show. I mean, everybody is coming on here. I'd say I, I cannot wait. Mental. It is going to be beautiful. One well, up. Listen, it is going to be the, one of the best shows I've ever been on. In, right. like the pleasure I've been on in my life when you go out. I, I want you all to day, promise me something. Day, people. Right? Everyone promise me something, yeah? If mm -hmm. and when we <laughs> win that trophy, yeah? I don't yeah. want any of you coming on here going, oh, but it's a shit trophy, but it's a shit trophy. Yeah? The way you've all said we ain't going to win it, I want you to come here uh, with, with humility and say... While the teams are in the conference league, gang, mm -hmm. shit ones. Florentina, Gent, Alkmaar, Fiorentina, Fiorentina, Nice. Well, happy as he Wait, has a Ribery retired? Is he start Fiorentina or what? I'm not sure. You know, AZ Alkmaar, Fiorentina, was Anderlecht. Yeah, you got to win that. It, it may. It's, it's done. You've said you're going to win it. I ain't letting you back down. Right, but now, I'm man. just saying, don't sit there when you've said we ain't winning it and come on and go, oh, but it's a shit trophy, it's a shit trophy, whatever. But come on here. No, and, no one's going to say that, fact. though, because we expect you to win. We expect you right, to win. Yeah, but we believe certain it, people on this it. panel, right, particularly Potts and Tobes, yeah, they're that shameless that they would turn around and say that to save face. They would not. Saying it. But I'm saying it now, up. though. But I've said it. I've said it throughout. I've said. I've said you're not going to win it, and it's a crap competition. I've said. No, you can't so, have both. You have to hold it. Why can't, it both? Why can't two teams be true? I won't lie. So what? Because yeah. you win it, that makes it not a not a bad comp. You you said you said that we won't win it, so you have to hold the L for if we win it. Yeah, yeah. If if you do win it, then I have to hold the L. But your that's it. We don't want to hear any. What do you mean you don't want to hear? But I've been saying the same thing throughout the tournament. I've been saying it. It's yeah, not a good we tournament. Don't, we don't want to hear it on on the fact, the, the fact that you have to finish game. the fact that you have to finish seventh to qualify for the in tournament. Fact, told you this told show you will be a trophy parade. Yeah, this show is going to be a celebration, right? So you're going to have an open top buff when you win it. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, no. We, yeah. Why not? Why not? Roma you did. You will have did. a trophy parade for the Conference League, won't you? Roma did. Jose did. Jose had one. What? Because it's too, it's, it's, oh, you know what I mean? What? Yeah, what? Well, Jose's what? Do you know what's the yeah. funniest no, thing no, is? Fair enough, you lot will have it, but know, He's shameless, you know. Jose's that egotistical kind of guy that he wants to make it about him. I am that guy that brought you this success, mm -hmm. so remember me. He's about parading himself. It's not about parading the trophy. Do you get me? He like, tattooed yeah. the trophy Don't forget, on his don't forget if, if <laughs> Moise wins you this trophy... Oh, Moise is staying in a job. Right, so let me say this, Errol, and, let, and Lawless, I want you to pin your ear, ears back. I will say congratulations to West Ham on winning it, but don't even think about coming and tell me that Moyes is getting sacked and he's get out of his club when he's just brought you a trophy for the first time in my lifetime, yeah. which is apparently yeah. an unbelievable trophy in your yeah. eyes. So don't even come to me and start saying that Moyes has got to go when he's just brought you a European trophy, which is Do apparently you know? the same as the League Cup, better than League Cup, same as FA Cup, all this crap. So don't but even you know start what, to yeah. tell me. You lot, it's, yeah. You lot are the sort of people that go casino, go roulette wheel, and put something on every single number on the roulette wheel, isn't it? Because if it's not, it's a shit trophy. If it's not that we're not going to win it, it's, well, we're going to win it and Moyes is going to stay. So I, there's no, you won't give me it's no... It's a lose-lose for you, Lawless. It's a lose-lose. Yeah. You don't trying to give me any scenario where I can just be happy, yeah? You want to go and put, have have everything cover it, all your bets, but trust me, look. So no, but see, where West Ham? Really where West there, Ham are him. Thing. If a where West Ham are, it's a good thing. I, like winning the Conference League would be big for you guys. So I get it from you guys' perspective. It's just it would have been big for from a Chelsea perspective. You complete the set. Lawless, would you prioritize staying in the league over winning the trophy? So if you needed oh. that squad to oh. stay in the Premier League. 
or rest them, or if you needed to rest them or, or play them, what would you do? What would you take? Well, I would prioritise the league because we can always have another shot at that competition in the future. But getting back <laughs> into the Premier League... Well, you never got, you're not getting in it, mate. When are you getting there next? You're, you're 18th. <laughs> yeah, but what are you talking about? Not next I season, but we're getting there. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, so what I'm saying is it's harder to get back into the Prem than it is to finish seventh in the Prem. Is that's it? just that's just straight, like straight back. So ain't you bounced back so. like both Ryan times? are doing all right. Fulham have done all right this season. They're Norwich all... do it for fun. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're yo yo clubs. Do you know, do you know, do you know the differences, right? Because they don't sign like they sign players that are too good for the championship but not good enough for the Prem. So they go down and those players, no one wants them. So they stick with them teams and they get them back up. Our players will have to get rid of a whole load of new players and then bring in and replace them. And then that is where you get screwed over. Like the teams Why would you like need to do that? Because we have to, because wage bills, because of ambition from players. Because like, everybody's lining up to sign Thomas Tuchek and Sufa but, 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 and uh, Ogbonna. Forrest would look nice. Forrest is good. Sorry, Pete. I would have thought they'd be willing to stay. Because you, because hypothetically speaking, you would have won a prestigious European trophy. <laughs> so I would have thought... <laughs> Yeah, so and you'd be in the thought, Europa League. I would have so thought you'd be European in the European too. You won the Conference League, no? Imagine but, that. Yeah. Yeah. He's in Europe in the Europa League. League. So which one is it? If it's so good, no. surely that should be enough to keep them at the club. Well, it's obviously, again, it comes to finances as well. Finances. But, who so but isn't the game about winning? Isn't win. the game about glory? So, yeah, what, but what, what, FFP. What, what, what's, what's, a, what's a cheeky one, one million for, for one season when you know you've got the, 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 the world-renowned uh, Europa Conference League? Yeah, that could be a factor if we win that. And let's not forget, we were the last team in the championship, then called Division 2, to win the FA Cup, right, when we slapped Arsenal in the final. We could be the first team to win the Europa League from the championship. That can, we try and talk, can we try and talk about like, times we were all alive, bruv? Like, Christ. Going back to 1980 well, now. Dan United was alive. Oh, no, he's, he's only like one year old, a couple of years old. Exactly. It's the That's grey it. in the beard. It's the grey in the beard. I was an 80s baby. I was an 80s. Yeah, no. I was 87 I was born, baby. but... Yeah. Not 1980. Anyway, you know what I mean, but no, exactly. Yeah. Not, ni- not 1980, indeed. I'm, not I'm just saying, just, just, just make your apologies as loud as your disrespect. Yeah, on, that's on, fine. On fine. And what, I, what, I what, hap- what happens if you go out then? What are you going to come on and do? He's not going to come on the show. He'll block us all. <laughs> He'll block us all. For- <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, unlike, unlike certain people on this show, yeah. Whatever happens, yeah. Win, lose, draw. I'm here. I'm here. I front up. I face up. I'm, I never hide. Yeah, I'm the one of the people that can say that the most on this show. I'm me. I got dicked seven 0 by Liverpool, mate. Right. When Errol went happy. missing for a few for a few weeks, like when Liverpool were doing real bad. He did come on after the the, <laughs> the form of game, but he did go missing when they were shit. Obviously, be Lewis has been missing for a while. To be fair, so Lewis we, we were winning. We were winning. I came back after the draw. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. He's always front of that blue is that guys. But listen, let's see if Pot is still hosting his show when they bottle the league. Let's see. He might go and go, <laughs> oh, oh Lawless, can you I'm, I'm going to Maldives again? Can you host the, the show? Question. That's the big question we didn't ask you though, Pot. Do you have to win the league now? Yeah, man, we do. Yeah, man, we do. Um, I'll accept the title race going down to the wire, but we can't have nothing to show for it, man. This team has been too good this season. And I said it yesterday with Matisse and Tobes and Lawless that we need to win this league, man. And um, it's not going to be easy. I'm praying and hoping that you boys do us a favour. Even if you draw at the Etihad, I'd take that. Um, We have to beat um, Man City if it gets to the stage where it's everybody's won up until that game. Um, I think there's going to be a couple of banana skins for Arsenal. And I'm just hoping that Man City can have those banana skins as well. But they could quite easily win the rest of their games. Like we've got St James's Park to come, Chelsea at home, Anfield, even Brighton at home. That's not easy. Um, and then we got Forest away and Wolves at home last game of the season, which you hope. I mean, it could even be wrapped up by then, one way or the other. You don't know. I just hope that 
we can do this, man. The way that we're playing at the moment, Thursday night worried me psychologically going out on penalties. Martinelli showed his mentality, best player on the pitch. Mr. Penalty, come on Sunday, superb. Saka and Martinelli were unplayable. Party was outstanding. Even Rob Holden had an amazing game. Ben White, superb. Zinchenko, amazing. At the moment, this team is looking great. My biggest concern is injuries because the first 11 is wicked. I actually go as far to say if we keep everyone fit, I reckon going to the Etihad with Jesus and Party, something we ain't done this season, I fancy us to give him a really good game. So... If we keep that first 11 fit, we'll be okay. Otherwise, I I, I don't know. It's going to be very hard. If, if we were to have long-term injuries to players like Party, Saka, Saliba's got a knock at the moment. We don't know how long he's out for. Tommy Asu's out for the rest of the season. So that right-back position is very vital now that Ben White doesn't get an injury. These could, this could come to, 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 to bite us in the backside like it did when we went for top four last year. Without Party, without Tierney, without um, no striker, obviously just Eddie. I just really hope they ain't going to be that again, man, because we deserve to win it. Lawless doesn't think we do because he doesn't believe that uh, anyone deserves to win it yet. I don't understand what that is all about, but fair enough. Um, so it, for me, I think this Arsenal side's good, but I'd love to get your opinions, man, because I know Tobes and Lawless, they, they don't like to admit it, but Tobes more so than Lawless does say at least that we're playing well. Lawless can't hack it. It's like he's got I some allergic it. reaction to it or something. I said you were but... playing well. Did I say on Matisse's show? Yeah, they very, very uh, yeah, 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 they, they do all right. But, but this, but that, but that, but that, but they did all right. That's Listen, basically you're doing what it is. Well, well done. You're playing some <coughs> good stuff. You're winning games. You're scoring goals. Well done. You're but doing can good. they do it on a Thursday night against Ghent? That's what you're saying. Right? <laughs> they do it well. But they can they, listen, can they do it again? <laughs> they, they proved they can't do it on a Thursday night period. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. But well does, anyone, done, does anyone think, I'll open this up, does anyone think that's going to help us or does anyone think that's not going to make a difference now we're out of all, everything else? I think it's going to help. It should help. It should help. It should help. It, it yeah, should, it's good I, I was I was gonna ask the question: What, what are your uh, what What does it mean for Arsenal if you don't win the league? You've put so much into it. You put mm. so much into winning the league this season. If you don't win the league, what's the knock on effect going into next season? In your opinion, pops? I'm not so sure that there's a knock on effect because I do believe still that there's this. There was never this expectation that we'd even be in a title race. But there is now. So. There, there is now the expectation of you winning the league. So you not winning the league this season, what's the knock-on effect after that? I think it's your... probably going to disappoint the fans as much as the players. But I really do see a bright future at the Arsenal right now. And I don't think that by losing that, there's going to be this, oh my God, they've crumbled. I think the hunger's there. They're a, they're a young, vibrant team. It looks like a bright future. And for me, the summer's going to be very interested in terms of what we do in the transfer market for what that knock-on effect looks like. You've got to remember, but guys, this is not a... If we come second, we haven't come second to a load of Muppets. We've come second to a team with an incredible, inhumane striker that just don't stop scoring. Harry Kane's got 21 goals, not even mentioned this season. Like Normally, it would be like a big excitement about how great Harry Kane is. We haven't heard it because Haaland's the guy. So they've got him up top. They've done it before, four times out of five. They've got the best manager in the world. So if they win it, people will come for Arsenal. Yeah, I can take it. I can take a roasting. I mean, have some self-awareness while you're doing it. But happy to take it. For me, I think it's a bright, uh, it's a bright future at Arsenal. So I don't know there's a huge knock-on effect, Pete, is my answer. But it will be disappointing, man. But I do think we have to win it because we've gone out of everything else. We failed at those hurdles. We haven't won a League Cup or a Domestic Cup again. In the last time that Arteta has won it, he's thrown it away every year, in my opinion. Um, and I think he was arrogant against Sporting. I think we should have played our first 11, took them off once we won the game and then rest them for Palace. But instead, he was throwing them all on because we were desperate to try and turn it away. But maybe that will be a blessing in disguise. I don't like that because I would like to be in it and win it. But I do think now we've got to go win the league and I just hope that we can do it, man. I really do. Um, do you not think there's going to be any pressure on Arteta going into next season? Say and, and this is all theoretical here, but just say like you don't win the league, and obviously there's going to be disappointment all round. But then you start next season 
not not as well. You drop points early on. Do you not think there's going to be them pressure on Arteta like there was beforehand? Like you guys all talked about it before, like the, the pressure that's been on Arteta before this type of season. No, because it could happen again. No, because we're in a title race, which is what we all wanted. Um, if we'd gone out, and listen, if we have a crumble now and we come fourth somehow, then mm. I think there'll be a huge, oh my God, we couldn't get top four. We couldn't get title winning. We've always managed to crumble last minute. So, of course, there'll be some pressure going into what we do next season. But I think he has overachieved and has made everybody go, oh, including myself, by the way, wow, this guy actually might not be as bad as we thought. And, you know, I'd be interested to hear Lewis's thoughts on Potter because I was a bit like they are now so Chelsea going. Huh? Say mm -hmm. you love him. I love <laughs> him, did you say? Yeah. No, no, he said say you love him to Lewis. I say I love him. Oh, what's this yeah. guy? Yeah. Listen, more. I, more I love what, what, I love what Arteta mean? is doing just, right just, now. Do you think he could be the Spanish Brendan Rodgers? Um, um, well... I mean, wait, who? In distance of a title first. I th wait, I thought you meant. Oh, who are we talking about? Arteta or Potter? We're talking oh. about Arteta, aren't we? Yeah, I thought oh. we were. Yeah, but oh, then we yeah. pivoted to Potter, and then oh, and then sorry. Tobe said, "Say you love him." No, I was talking about Arteta to Potter. Yeah. Oh, say yeah. I, say I, I love do him. love. I do love what Arteta oh. doing. Arsenal. No, no, no. no, 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 no that's not what he does. I said, "Do you love Arteta as a manager?" Yeah, I think I do. Man. I can't lie. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. That's what I asked. Thank you. I think Simple. I do right now. I like yeah, people to prove me wrong, story. and he's done that. Do and you know what? Story? He's not just proved me wrong. He's proved a lot of people on this panel wrong as well. So, you know, there's a lot of people who have to hold their hands up and say fair play to Arsenal. There's not you've a lot of people that want to do it. Three, haven't you? Just look back now. You've been top of the table since match week three. That's, that, I mean, that's a long time, isn't it, to be top of the table? Mm. Yeah. It is, man. It is. So I suppose it's match day three. three. Oh my. Yeah, God. match week three. So I mean, that I suppose. Remember that match day three when everyone was laughing when they were saying, oh, "Arsenal are going to crumble soon." Now we're in March. I'm still and the same week, around about the same April, week, April? Lawless and Tobes were slamming me for asking Pete on this channel. How muddy are they now? How muddy are they? There we go. Right, well, we'll see. His Football was a humbler, season. as uh, Grizz says. Like <laughs> I said, look, I'm just saying, like you just have to win that. You have to win it. Yeah, and you, you have, have to win the Europa Conference League, yeah. my friend. So, but I'm let's telling see what you happens. what, anyhow, anyhow, we win that, and you don't win the league. Oh, what you had a better season than Arsenal, I guess. Lord, yeah, what, what's it? What's it? Oh, look, I'm late to the party, so I don't know. <laughs> Lawless, what, what, is, what is the same thing to you if you don't win the Europa Conference League? What does doesn't want to answer this, Pete? For you, he doesn't want to answer this, Pete. He does not want to ask it because you know what? No, no, no. We've asked him, and you know what the answer is? Sack Moyes. That's what the answer is. Anytime, win it. Sack Moyes. You've held your hat on this all season. Guys, cloud all season, Lawless. You've you've held your hat on this that you're going to win the Europa Conference, and you know you beat. I can't. I don't even know the name of the team that you beat, but you beat them comfortably. Larnica, Bayern and and don't disrespect them, Pete. Don't disrespect them, my friend. <laughs> do, you, do you know who you've got <laughs> next? Who, who have you got next? We got Ghent from Belgium. Okay. Fifth in the so, Ghent in the Belgium um, league. So you know, read out their history and what, what they've won. For whatever reason, you don't you don't win been. that trophy, and whoever's left in the trophy uh, in the tournament wins it. Mm. What, what does it mean for you and West Ham moving forward? Because you what you have you have let's be honest, you haven't held your hat on this all season that you're going to yeah. win the competition and that's going to get you European <clears throat> football. That that's going to be your savior. It's it's our big it's our last big shot at Europe. That's it's our last big shot to stay in Europe. That's what I'm saying. So it's it's massive. It's huge. And if, if we lose it, Moyes is a bottle job. Are you prioritizing um, this? I he already above was. The Premier League? In your opinion, <laughs> no. are you prioritizing this above what's happening in the Premier League? We're doing right them now? equally. I think we're, we're, we're dividing <laughs> ourselves. And we've been prioritizing the league because we've been playing weaker sides in there. But now it's time. Let's just Crikey. listen, man. Let's just go full force everything. Let's just go all the way. League. This is you prioritizing the league. What? <laughs> no, let's just. I'm, I'm here for 18. all of it. Like. I'm, do you know what? Yeah, it's something about this show, right? I'm miserable, yeah, with West Ham stuff. I argue with West Ham fans. I'm like these fucking happy clappers. I come on here and I I get 
re- 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 re-energized. Something about it, this show, it just rejuvenates me. I'm like, yes, let's fucking go. Let's do it. Me and, me and Tobes yeah. get the blame every time. You notice, use, use for get away with a lot. Oh, Pots and Tobes said, Pots and Tobes said, every you single guys the most day shit. in the show. Huh? You, lot, you guys talk the most shit on my team. Do you know Mate, what I mean? We only re, we only regurgitate the rubbish that we hear from you. That's that's all that's that's all that happens. Do you, you, know, start, do you know what? Honestly, honestly, you 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 you've got more rubbish inside your body than the River Thames. That's how much <laughs> crap. That's how much crap you spew I, about. What you I, I know it's you're wearing the uh, the the, the top of the current Europa Conference League champions. I know. So it's what? It's that. a tracksuit. So what? Yeah? It's a tracksuit. You actually <laughs> spout that's rubbish. About other clubs and West Ham, and we react to the stuff you say. We react. I am the way I am with you because of how you are. If you weren't how you are, I wouldn't be the way I am. Oh, I blame me! Blame me for your. Own I am blaming you because it's not just me that 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 fixed this. Pots fixed this. Literally every single person that you do content with, they they call you out, and it's, it astounds me that you get slammed by your own fan base as being. I don't. What do they call you? Toxic. Negative. Negative, impossible. You couldn't be negative when it comes to West Ham. <laughs> you are one of the most deluded West Ham fans I know. No, no, no. You That's genuinely bullshit. believe. You genuinely believe you're on an equal footing with some of the clubs that you diss. Genuinely. Who? 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 Okay. Who do I believe? Oh, I'm first. starting this again, Lord. Oh, from you're from fucking owl. Who? Who? Lord, I'm, no, this I'm glad. Who? I'm glad you're there wearing a life jacket, yeah, because you're gonna need that when you're drowning in tears, mate. Come end of season. I, know, I feel that. like we've got to address the elephants in the room, haven't we? Really, I feel like yes. Yes. I mean, like I've, I've, I've kind of heard, I've kind of heard Tobes take that old, l- just disabled, fragile, like elephant. He's about two hundred years old, and he's putting out of its misery. That elephant, the elephant that is Tottenham Hotspurs. Let's do it because. Tobes was hiding earlier on. I got headed. You, you guys have talked about this it for, for ages, but I wasn't hiding. I was busy. I said I told Potts I was running late. I wasn't hiding from anything. So right. take your medicine. Come on, let's hear it. How I've taken my medicine. I've still got a headache, but I don't know what you want me to say. What, what am I meant to say here? What's Give us right? He's gone. He's gone. What are your thoughts? One at a time, please. Go on. Who's first? What are your thoughts and feelings? We'll start with the light way. Yeah, it's for the best. It's for the best. Um, I'm sad, obviously, because I, you know how much I rate Conte, how much I loved the appointment. But if there was two, if there was two paths that this was gonna, his tenure was gonna take, this was one of the two, right? It could, go, it could have gone really well in the case of last year when we got top four and everyone's united and Spurs on an upward trajectory, um, or it can turn sour, in which case he will blow everything up. Um, so last year was good this year. Now it's got to the very worst stage. And what we see in front of us now is a man who actively is pushing to leave and he's trying to provoke whoever needs to be provoked behind the scenes to engineer his exit. Um, this is what he wanted. So the, the club will sack him. This is what he wanted. He'll, he'll get his pay. Um, and he'll somehow feel like He's absolved himself of any blame, but that won't be the reality for Conte. It will not be the reality. First and foremost, like I know some people don't agree with what he said, but I agree with what he said. I don't think he said anything that's too dissimilar from what a lot of fans that I speak to say. Like if you ask most Spurs fans that, well, most Spurs fans that I speak to, what do they think of the club when it comes to winning? What do they think of the mentality of some of the players? They'll say word for word what Conte said. So I don't think he said anything wrong in that regard. Um, I when quite you say like... that though, Tobes, and you throw everyone under the bus, that's you saying goodbye, surely. Yeah, 100%, 100%. That's like a parting shot. Um, it's like a parting shot. Um, and I remember he did an interview, not an interview, he did, Alistair Gold did a piece afterwards where Conte was basically clarifying to the board that he wasn't talking about them. And I'm like, come on, come on. Yeah, I so, saw that, I on. saw that. Don't be, don't be an idiot, please. Come on, read between the lines. He's talking about 20 years, 20 years of doing nothing, basically. So... Um, yeah, man. Of, of course, he's talking at he's talking at the owners and he's talking at the players. And I, and you know what? Screw it. Talk 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 about them. Put them on blast. When you go out the way we've gone out disgracefully against Sheffield United, 
AC Milan, um, Nottingham Forest, when you're 3-1 up against the worst team in the league, right, and you've got less than 15 minutes to go and you don't win the game, call them out, call all of them out. Call the, call the ownership that have allowed some of these players to be at the club. Call some of these players that didn't that didn't do the job required on the day. They absolutely deserve to be called out because it's gutless and it's disgraceful. But at the same time, acknowledge the part that you have to play in Tottenham's Tottenham's mess this season, which is massive. He has a massive part to play in our mess. And I, from what he was saying on his interview. It's, it looks like he's diverting away from that. And you're not going to pull the wool over my eyes. It's not going to happen. Throughout the season, how many times have I come here, Potts, when I said, oh, Conte, really poor from Conte, really yeah, poor. Thanks. I don't think we played that well. I've said this. I've lost count you know of, the amount of, times, of the amount of times I've said that this season. So, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Say, Errol. Um, my, my, my final point is, yeah, like, just because what he said is applicable... And has a lot of sense doesn't mean that anyone everyone's going to forget the part that you have to play in our mess. Your poor subs, your poor tactics, your poor um, your poor rotation, your poor setup, your lack of change, your your rigidity. Like there's so many things that he's done wrong. The amount of players, the amount of players that have regressed this season, the amount of players that are out of form. Um, just everything, every single thing is down. The only metric that's up this season is probably goal scored because we finally decided to start scoring from set pieces and Kane's been on, on form all season. But Son, form has dipped. Richarlison yet to score a Premier League goal. Kulisewski's form dipped. I'm not even putting this all on Conte's though. I'm not because these players are men in the end of the day. Son has been, irrespective of Conte, Son has been abysmal. This year, Richarlison hasn't been good in the games that he's come on in recent in recent weeks before his injury. But as a team, as a team, how you set this team up, how you coach this team to attack team, there's nothing there. It begs, there and that's on you. It begs the question though, because it's like it almost suggests that a a weak loser mentality is more infectious than a winning serial winners mentality. And if that is the the result and the outcome from a Spurs perspective now, should you be stripped down and sold for parts like you would with an old banger and start again? Do you need to go to a new dealership and get a new finance deal and get something nice and flashy because you, you've pa- you're not going to pass your MOT? You're not going to make it through the summer with the same players in the same condition and hope that a new manager coming to drive it is going to now turn you into Lewis Hamilton? Like, that you is know what, not- Errol, as well? Let me look. Errol's let me just analogy of the week, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> let, me just, <laughs> let me just read this out. Yeah, Tobes, Tobes will, will know where I'm, where I'm going with this, right? Because this, for me, was the last straw. This was like... You've tried everything. If this don't work, how many times have we been on here going, what happens if this don't work? So this was one the a day of the appointment of Antonio Conte, a tweet come out from the Spurs web. It's like thousands of likes, retweets, quotes, etc. And it says the following. There are genuine tears dropping from my eyes. This day has finally come. Our club is back. It's really happening. Do not scratch your eyes. Antonio Conte is here. A serial winner. The passion is going to be back on the touchline. The Italian job in full force. Wow, what a night. Now, I look at it now and think, where do you go from here, Tobes? Because everything's been done. Poch, project manager, it stopped. Well, why, why did you Why did you read that tweet? Were you trying to take the... <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm just, just looking at Lawless up there. He is, he is loving it. Why did you why did you read that tweet? And I don't understand this this men this this notion that Spurs fans shouldn't have been excited about Conte. Going no, 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 Munich. it's not the point. That's not the point. So why the did point you read is it? They were, because that's how excited you were, and look how it ended. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, listen, I feel like oh, okay. double edged sword there. You knew what you were doing, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what 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 yeah. does happen? What does happen hand, from you now? knew what you were doing, but it's fine. Go on. What does happen from now, Tobes? Where, yeah, where did you go from here? Because Pochettino, Jose Mourinho, Conte, right? You had Harry Kane, his best years, son, his best years. 
and you've nothing to show for it. Where do you even begin to go? Obviously, Ryan Mason, but after that, where do you go? Like, what's next? It's 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 it's, 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 it's evolution. It's literally common. It's as simple as that. You change. You move on from from what has worked in the past, and you look for something new. Whether that's with whether that's with some of the players that are still here, whether that's without some of the players that are still here, something new needs to occur. It's that simple. Something new needs to occur. We need a change in management. We need a change in the squad personnel. We need a change in playing style. We need a change in philosophy. We need a change across the board, across the board, and. I, it's not like we're starting with a uh, with with nothing. I don't think we are starting with nothing. I, I'm just, we've had this conversation before. I still maintain Spurs have some good players. Like everyone, that, we speak about the, the the potential loss of Harry Kane. It's massive. Let me not let me not beat around the bush. You know how much I rate Harry Kane on here. The loss of Harry Kane is massive. It's a huge deal. Hundred percent. That's going to be a blessing in disguise. I'm telling to, you. That's going to be a to blessing. Lose, one sec. To, to lose a to lose a player of that caliber. Is is a madness. Like he's basically our best ever Premier League player. Put it that way. But Harry Kane has been here since since he's been 10 years old and he's now 30 years old. And if he wants to leave, let him leave. If we get a good offer, let him go. Honestly, let him go. Like I would love for Harry Kane to stay, but I'm resigned to losing Kane. Honestly, I'm resigned to losing Kane because at this point in time, Kane has been here all these years. It's been good in some years, and it's not been it's not been good in other years. So, as as painful as it will be to for him to move on, Spurs need to move on anyway. We need to plan for a life. How many times? This isn't the first time I've mentioned this. Spurs need to plan for a life about Harry Kane, and I'm only using Harry Kane because that's obviously the main example. That's the guy that's got a year left on his contract. But the same thing I'm saying could be applicable to Lloris. The same thing I'm saying could be applicable to even Son. If we ain't got a plan on how to use Sun, how to use this version of Sun right now, then maybe, maybe we might need to move on from Sun, move on from Hoybier, move on from Dyer, move on from Davis, whoever it is. There needs to be a change. There needs to be a change at our club. And annoyingly for me, the worst thing about this is the people who are responsible for making or ushering the change are the same guys that have put us in this mess in the first place. It wouldn't it, in normal circumstances. Had we had, if we had competent owners, I'd probably be a bit more, a bit more um, not positive, but I'd be a bit more welcoming of a post Harry Kane world. Or most fans would be a bit more welcoming if we believed that the people who own the club had an idea in terms of what they want. But they don't. They jump from one idea to another. They struggle to replace players that have been that have meant something to us in the past. So, looking forward. I don't even blame Lawless for thinking Spurs could be modded. I don't, because when you look at who runs our club, what evidence do whatever on the football pitch, forget about off the football pitch, because we know what, what they are about off the football pitch, on the football pitch, what evidence do, do we have to say, wow, these guys, they're gonna get Tottenham out of this? Spurs are gonna be back in two years' time, three years' time, four years' time. We don't know. We don't know. Man, it's mad. Um I want, there is a bit of excitement like, about the God unknown. Knows. That is the thing I will say for for yeah, as much it's, as not as it's because uh, and this is the thing. Same way we they're going to be know. in a relegation battle. What excitement? No, like? like no, but this we're is the thing, right? Relegation. Well, don't rule it out. Um, I am but, ruling it out. We're not, we're not going to be in a uh, categorically. Spurs will not be in a relegation battle. Sam, I'll tell you that. Save that clip. Um, no I promise you, Spurs. No, I right. promise you, Tottenham will not be in a relegation battle. <clears throat> See, I'm tr I'm trying to give you some positivity. No, yeah. you can, yeah. but don't don't insinuate that we're going to be in a relegation battle. I didn't so, say it, did I? Pot's not going to happen. Spurs have but not. You said it. Spurs have no, not I didn't say that. Really. Relegation for over twenty years. Well, Harry Harry Redknapp season, but we won't go. There. We weren't um, flirting with relegation. What are you talking about? It was eight. He was, games. He was down there when he it took eight over. Games. It was eight games. Yeah. All right. But look at look at Arsenal. After eight games, they was top of the league. They're still there. Could have happened to Spurs. Um, well, that but, doesn't make sense. But... I'm just saying you could have. It could have happened. But Harry Redknapp gave you your best years. Was a, was a, he was a, one of your best managers, and he was West Ham. But I would just say that taking away Harry Kane. Son, right? All oh, wow. of this contact stripping Some it back. Some will probably stay, to be fair. Some will probably stay. 
Yeah, he's he's got to be up there, top two, top two at least. Um, it's yeah, this is exciting because look, as shit as you could be, it's a new identity, it's a fresh start, it's something you you could you could start and be mid table, but it's a chance to see a new way of playing, a new for just something different than the say. It always feels like a manager's come in and just kind of try to pick up where the previous manager left off and try and fit around Harry Kane. Hundred, I agree. Man, you know what? You know I've, what? I've, I've, for you once, I actually agree weekend. with Lawless. Sorry, yeah, I, no, I, 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 I agree I with Lawless. Right. That's why. Right. That's why, as 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 scary as it may seem, I'm like, bring it on. I'm ready for it. Like, bring it on. If it means I have to lower my expectations from, or oh, maybe don't go for top four and you finish sixth, whatever. As long as I see change, positive change, so I'm for it. Is this not a bit like how United? Uh, uh, this reminds me a bit of, of Ranić last season, uh, just before he left United. Uh, you I do have to bounce. I've got to head yeah, off. yeah, but Lewis. Sorry, bro. No worries, guys. Uh, big up. Take care, my guys. Oh, man, oh, yeah, Tobes. Do you remember when when Ranić before Ranić went, he came out and he had that interview where he said the club is rotten. The the club is rotten. They need to they need to get rid of so much deadwood. They need to change the ethos. They need to bring the players in. That's what the. I mean, obviously, Conte's was a lot more emotional, but that's what it reminded me of. It reminded mm. me of someone coming out, and I know, obviously, and I agree with what you're saying that he is. He picks the team; it's his tactics. Yeah, I get that, but I kind of feel like it's it's that same sort of conversation that Ranić had when he came out and said, "This is this is a bad apple. We need to. You need to change a lot of stuff here." So, so do, do you see like do you, do you see a sort of a likeness to that at all? I do. I I, I do, but I feel like. I feel like, and you you may not agree, but I, I actually feel like Spurs, even though we don't have Man United's name and probably finances, I feel like Spurs now are in a better position than Man United were last year. Yeah, 100% agree. We're, 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 we're still, despite how bad we are, obviously you, you put it more down to how bad some of the, the teams chasing top four are, excluding the ones that are overachieving, like Newcastle, right? Spurs are still fourth. Spurs are st- they were, we're speaking Could have gone third. Could have gone third on the weekend. Still, and if we if we had if we exactly if we <laughs> if we had won on the weekend, we could have gone third. We still have some good young players that we can actually build the next team around. I, I, again, I'll reiterate: Pedro Porro, Jed Spence, Destiny Udoji, Benton Core, uh, Kulisevsky, Richarlison, Basuma, Oliver Skip, Pape Matasar, Romero. Right, we still have players there. And if 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 Kane stays for one more season, we still have Harry Kane. If Sun stays for one more season, we still have Sun. We still have enough to reinvent Tottenham without having to basically be in the doldrums, if that makes sense. Do, do you right? think Ryan yeah. Mason? Do you think he's capable of cinching up top four this season? I don't want Ryan Mason. I I, I got nothing against Ryan Mason. Um, I respected, I respected what he did for us under under. Um, Poch when he was a player but Ryan Mason wasn't a player I rated very highly he did a job for it for, for one year but it became quickly apparent that when the level went higher he wasn't good enough and fair play he, he unfortunately for him his career ended early and he wants to get his chops in coaching I've got no business I've got no issue with Ryan Mason trying to learn his trade in and around the club but I almost feel, and I felt this at the time with Jose, I almost feel like the club are shoehorning Ryan Mason into these positions. And it makes no sense to me. I would speak uh, the same way I speak of Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard about their lack of experience. I would be a hypocrite if I didn't look at Ryan Mason the same. I don't see what credentials he has to manage Spurs, even on a temporary basis. I didn't so agree with him last time. I don't think he can get us top four because I, what what evidence do I what evidence do I have to suggest that Ryan Mason can get Spurs top four? Tell me, Harry Jamie. Kane. Harry I'm, Kane is the only chance you've got now. But we've had Harry Kane all season, and yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I don't know if it'll be enough. But the only thing I would say is why is that what I was reading about Spurs players hating training under Conte. You know, a lot of negativity is. You know, they obviously players like Ryan Mason. It's something to give them a bit of a breath, a breath of fresh air. Go out and play, blah blah blah. You know, and for a short period of time, that can work, and that could You're be right. just enough time to get enough points to sink it. Especially with Liverpool, we all thought they might kick on. They're still looking shaky. 
Um, and then the other teams that are around Newcastle still question marks oh, over there. Look how he's frozen like that. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're right though, but but Lawless, Lawless, in theory, in theory, that may make sense. Like I, I, I didn't even want Ryan Mason the last time round, and the last time round, in my eyes, the season was done. We didn't have nothing to play for. Well, apart from the final, <laughs> apart from the final. yeah, you had the Fleet Cup I, final. I didn't to be listen. To be perfectly honest, I actually didn't want Ryan Mason in the dugout for that final. I wanted Jose. You lot knew I wanted Jose gone, but yeah. I didn't. Yeah. In high, I didn't think it deep down. Even though I was celebrating him being sacked, I wanted it done weeks ago, weeks before the final, so we actually had someone competent to actually coach us in that final. There's no way on earth. There's no way on earth. I'm choosing um, Jose Mourinho. I mean, Ryan Mason over Mason Jose. Mason over Jose. No, no, no chance. Irrespective of what I think of Jose, impossible. Impossible. So when you know what? Ryan Mason, when, when Jose got sacked, they didn't reveal who he was taking over at the time. It was only after the fact, oh, wow, Ryan Mason's going to take over. I said, what the hell is this? What the heck is this about? So for me, I'm looking at it now. Tottenham, even though I, I, I'm, still, I'm still angry about the trophies, but Spurs still have something to play for. And... Lawless's point around, oh yeah, getting the getting the troops going and stuff, that may work. You're right, that may work for even maybe a Brighton at home, as difficult as that will be. A Brighton at home, Bournemouth at home, is that gonna work at Newcastle away when you're playing up against a man like Eddie Howe who is coaching his team well above people's expectations? Is that gonna work at Anfield when you're up against Jurgen Klopp, a fellow a fellow top four contender? Is that gonna work when you're up against Eric Ten Hag at home? You need Naus. You need Naus. And nice guy, Ryan Mason. Yeah, yeah, you're nice. But can do I really believe that you can get first top four? No. I don't believe he can. I genuinely don't. We all know who the next Tottenham manager is going to be. And Lawless will back um, me up. I've said this all season. It will be Pochettino. It's going to happen. He will come it back. It's going to happen. You're in the mud. Just Gasport, straight, well, he, he ain't going to go to West Ham, mate. That's all I know. That's for sure. If he does, so, <laughs> Watch comes back though. No, nah, he's gonna uh, go West Ham. He's gonna win. He's gonna go West Ham. He's gonna win the Champions League next season because they're gonna. They're gonna Kane make and four. Kane and Poch at West Ham. Yeah, toes would would go missing, mate. He Kane and Poch. <laughs> <laughs> it would never happen. He would <laughs> move to like the Bahamas. Are we just saying stuff? Name. Are we just saying stuff now? Mark Noble won the Champions League then. Since we're just saying stuff. I'm not listening. I weren't. It was fucking Potts who was saying it. I was. Just oh, I said like, Pochettino would I'm, go to Spurs. I never said he'd go West Ham. He would definitely yeah, but, not go to West Ham. Yeah, but, but what, what, what does James think about Potts coming back? Is, is that is that the kind of managerial um, appointment that you want? I don't see him coming back until the summer because I think he'll want to put his he'll want to sign his own players. He'll want to get a preseason under, under their belt with, with the team coming back in. With the way they are now, I, 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 personally, I just don't see it. But if he does come back in the summer, well, what, what are your thoughts about that? Do you think so, it's the right decision? Um, no, I don't think it's the right decision. And this is nothing to do with Pochettino. Literally nothing to do with Pochettino. Um, Poch is my favourite ever Spurs manager. And if he was to come back, I would back him. And I do think it's, I do think it's perfectly fine to have him on the options and when I look at some of the managers that have been linked to Spurs they are definitely no better fits for the job than Poch so like someone like Enrique for instance Luis Enrique like people say oh no he's a really good manager I don't think he's a better fit for the job than Pochettino I don't I'd agree with that I don't Thomas Tuchel Thomas Tuchel Thomas Tuchel he's he's a better manager than Poch I don't think he's a better fit for the job than Pochettino so for me Poch absolutely should be under consideration Right, but, yeah, but then that that undermines the fresh, new, exciting yeah, approach. But you, you didn't let me back. finish. You didn't let All me right. finish. You didn't let me finish. I said if Luis Enrique is being put under consideration, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then Poch absolutely because he's better fit for the job than these guys. But I don't think we should go back to Poch now. If it was new ownership, people that he hasn't worked with in the past, people that he hasn't let him let him, people that haven't let him down in the past, players that weren't around when he was back managing. Then I'd say, okay, cool, yeah, get Pochettino. New landscape. We knew we knew what you did before. You massively overachieved, and you deserve the opportunity to rebuild. And when you look at the type of manager Pochettino is, stylistically, he ticks pretty much all the boxes that Spurs are looking for. However, 
for me personally, Spurs need to go for something new. And me personally, I don't believe in managers going back. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. My friends, some of my friends disagree with my point of view here and say, oh, that's not a good enough reason. It is for me. I don't like managers going back. When I heard Zidane was going back to Real Madrid, even though he won the league, I said, why are you doing that? You already won the free peak. Don't go back. When I saw Ancelotti okay. going back, to, when I saw Ancelotti going back to Real Madrid, I said, "Why are you doing that?" Granted, these are the exceptions to the rule, but me personally, I don't like managers going back because I don't really think it's ever that it's ever as good as it as it was first time round. And I feel like with this hierarchy, no matter which manager we bring in, I feel like there is a cap on Tottenham actually being competitive enough to win trophies. So I, I don't. I think think- so I, was going to say, I think I think Posh is less ready now to take on Tottenham than he was when he first came from Southampton. I think he, he like his his spells at other clubs has almost diminished his reputation as a manager compared to what it was when he was coming to Tottenham from Southampton and he was kind of building his pedigree. I, I, don't, I don't know. You might agree with that, but that's that's kind of my opinion, which is why for me. I don't think Poch is the right choice for, for so Tottenham. Let, let me ask this then, Tom, because I know you've got to go, right? This will be the last question. What do you think they need right now? Let me give you three scenarios. You get Poch, number one, we just spoke about that. He knows the club well. Fans will be happy with that, and you give it another go. You get somebody different, too cool. I don't know if that would happen, but okay. Luis Enrique, cool. Luis Enrique then, let's say, whoever it be, right? Who's like done well at Barcelona in the past, and Spain, blah, blah, blah. Or... You go like um, Arsenal have done with an upcoming manager. People may laugh and shout, oh, but don't want him. Michael Carrick, let's say. And you start from that scratch. What one of those three scenarios do you think Spurs need right now? Um, I think they need the third option, but I don't think Michael Carrick would be the choice. I think he's only been managing for what, six months. Um, I feel like although Arsenal went the route of Arteta, they went through years of hardship and... I'm not even opposed to years of hardship, right? But I feel like Spurs can get an up-and-coming manager who's got a bit more experience than 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 Michael Carrick. Um, Pochettino is the safe option for me, and he's not, as I said, he's an option that I that I would get behind. But my preference is to get something new. If we're gonna reset, reset. If we're gonna if we're gonna try and wipe the slate clean, wipe the slate clean. Really and truly, move on, move on, right? We did Poch- we, we did Pochettino dirty, um, and I actually disagree with Pete. I feel like Poch, Poch probably would be in a better place to take the Spurs job because I feel like maybe because of his experiences in PSG, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, he might be able to go about things differently at Spurs in in response to his previous thing. But me personally, I want something new. I want something new, genuinely, um, and I feel like there are managers out there. There are managers out there that can tick some of the boxes. They may not be as good as Pochettino. They may not have Pochettino's pedigree, but they tick some of the boxes that he ticks, right? And I feel like Spurs should explore that route first. I feel like explore that route first, exhaust that option first. If you've exhausted that option and you're not able to land your man, then at least we can say we've tried. Tobes, just, 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 sorry, mate, really quickly before you go. I just want to, I, I wanted to ask this before. The interview that Conte did, being that the manager that he is, being that the reputation he has, do you think those comments have damaged the chance of, 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 of the type of manager you want coming to the club? No, I don't. Um, I don't because I feel like any logical manager will have known about Spurs. The fans know about Spurs. Like, you know what you're signing up for. Conte knew what he was signing up for. Right, anyone who's in football knows about Daniel Levy, knows about Spurs, knows about the history under this ownership. So, in the end of the day, I still feel like it's a job that some would still like. Um, I, I'm genuinely, I genuinely believe that. It, I don't think we're going to be able to go out and and get a manager on Conte's level, and rightly so. I, I don't think. I, I say rightly so. It's not. I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I mean that in a sense where the managers that are on Conte's level, they'll have bigger clubs going for them, right? Spurs can't go out and get managers better than Conte, say a Pep or 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 or, um, or Klopp. Spurs can't get these managers, right? So what we what Spurs can do is Spurs can offer a lot of money to the up and coming managers. Offer 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 a lot of money and a 
a chance to build a better project than what they have right now, a chance to work with a bigger budget, a chance to work with potentially better players. And I feel like that's the sell. I feel like genuinely that's the sell. A couple of years ago, after AVB, after we tried to go for a name brand manager in AVB, uh, and a year and a half later, it didn't work out. We got an up-and-coming manager in Pochettino who would manage Espanyol and then manage Southampton. I don't see why Spurs can't repeat the same the same, the same, same process this time. Around. Because you won't be patient enough. You didn't give Nuno a chance. Obviously, Potts posted yeah, but, that, that thing. 57 million he had to spend. Potts posted that. So and let me, compared to like, others. Can I debunk this myth? So first of all, we just what did we just speak about? And people are saying people are putting it in the comments as well. What did we speak about? We need a manager who's the right fit for Spurs, the right fit for Spurs, who has the right philosophy. Nuno was not that manager. He had which a, is similar, why, a similar pragmatic manager though to Jose and 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 Conte. Exactly. No, 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 no. Nuno is Nuno is not a similar manager to Conte. Nuno plays no, worse. Yeah, Nuno, Nuno, Nuno plays worse football than Conte. Nuno plays worse football than Jose Mourinho. So when we had just sacked Jose Mourinho, it made no sense hiring a manager who was genuinely worse than Mourinho in terms of playing style and results. So there is literally no upside to hiring Nuno, which is why we were in uproar, because this, it didn't make no sense, especially after this open letter from Daniel Levy at the end of the season to say, um, we recognise our errors and we want to go back to the Spurs that we know, front-footed style, we want to get a progressive... They said all of these things and hired Nuno, which is why which is why we didn't really take to Nuno. I would admit Nuno, Nuno, um, Nuno had a poor summer window. I don't think we did enough for mm. Nuno, right? But in the end of the day, he was nowhere near good enough to manage Spurs. And you could see that in the performances. You could see that in the metrics. Spurs were struggling to even get shots on target. That's crazy. We were struggling to even get shots on target. I remember we played you. We played you at, um, at your ground. And it was only until Gareth Bell... Was it Gareth Bell? No, not Gareth Bell, sorry. Yeah. It was... Um, we lost the game 1-0. We had no attacking impetus whatsoever. So Nuno was a wrong fit. And Spurs... Spurs need to make the right... Deserve you, Tobes? The super chat? Deserve you? I would like the Zerbi. I would like the Zerbi. I would like the Zerbi. I would like for Spurs to make a move for the Zerbi in the summer and test his result. Test his he's result. He's got to say no. If he's got anything about him, he says no. Test like, his result. And that, why, that point... Why, why, that why, point why, on the players as well, by the way. The point on the players as well. Like, I don't know where Sky Sports got their articles from. Conte hasn't signed 14 players. A load of rubbish. Conte hasn't even spent 192 million. Lies again. Conte has signed what, like 10, 11 players? One, one who was who was agreed he couldn't even play for Spurs this season. Destiny. He's coming in next year when Conte's not going to be here. Romero. He who, it. Yeah. Rome, R Romero, R Romero was even signed under Nuno. Romero was signed under Nuno. The only thing that changed during Conte's tenure was that the move, the obligation, the money came through. The money came through. So does that really make him Conte signing if he was already in our squad before Conte got here? Like, I get it. Conte's been given enough money to have done better than he has done. And that's why he's getting crit criticism. But I don't like people distorting the truth. I don't like it. Pretending as if he got given everything in his power. No, it's not true. Look at the defense. All you, if you really think Conte was... Yeah, I've, I've really, this. Since it was 100% was back, just look at the Spurs defense. Just look at the defence. And therein lies the wrong. I've said this before about the defence and said, like, you know, listen, they're never going to come to Tottenham, but just give you some examples of players like Vardial that they were linked with, Bastoni that you were linked with. <clears throat> Those players, for me, they instantly make Tottenham better. Now, Conte deserves a lot of criticism and you can't come out and do that. It's an absolute madness. But I do worry for where Tottenham go from here, man. If I'm a Spurs fan, I don't think it's looking too bright. So we'll have to wait and see. Tobes, I know you got to shoot, man. You it's a pleasure. Say again? Am I worried? Are you worried? Are you, are you really worried? Are you going to go, oh. Bro, I've never been worried about Spurs in my lifetime. I'm not going to worry now. You're loving it. You're Trust loving me. it. Don't hide it. <laughs> I, I, I've not lost much sleep over him, man. I can't lie to you. It's been, it's been beautiful <laughs> to watch him parts. Um, yeah. Big up, Tobes, though, man, for coming on. Always a pleasure, my friend. Peace. And I'll see you next time, bro. See you next week, man. Take it easy, man. In a bit. Uh, quick super that chat. Nice. and then Yeah, it That's was nice. Quick, quick super chat before we wrap up. Come to Pete. Um, 
to all who would you rather have Rashford or Diaz? Well, Rashford is putting me in the mud, so I'm going to have to go Rashford, uh, Lawless. Yeah, I go, I go Rashford just because he's doing it. In, like, like I said, right now he's just looking unstoppable at yeah. the moment. Anyone disagree with that? No, no I didn't no. think so. Uh, oh, Dan does. He got the super chat. I mean, I'm sat here in a United shirt. I'm not going to sit here and say... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone really quiet again, Dan, by the way, your audio, but um, it's all good. I have to do a lawless and come to the screen. Um, Pete, um, instead of going through Newcastle's game and stuff, because I think we all saw how well you were, big up Isaac, by the way. I uh, did tell you all, just saying. Uh, and um, I, I actually think Tobes, I know he's gone. Um, big up toes, by the way. It did make me laugh when he said, I would definitely take some years of pain. What the hell has he had already? I mean, wow. <laughs> it did make me laugh. I didn't want to, didn't want to pick him up on it. But, you know. No, this has um, been party time for Spurs. This has been like the best years of their life. Like, this has been, you know, amazing yeah. for them. <laughs> Lawless, I'd agree, I'd agree with you. Like, um, <clears throat> I've just been talking about that, this on, on, on Loaded on our show earlier on tonight, is that Spurs have had... 16 years on on us in particular as a club um because we and I, I maintain this we've almost switched places because you go back to the early 2000s up until 2005 we were in the top three top four top five chasing the top end of the season and spurs were spurs were down there um beforehand and we've almost swapped places um so, so they've had this amount of time on us to kind of push on and, and try and win something. So that's always been my kind of thought. So like, if this has been a bad moment for him, like in, in the club in general, then I, I, I'll i be honest, I do worry about what's what's to come. But Pete, top four, man. Like, Lawless deserves a... You need, deserve to give Pete an apology. Tobes deserves to give Pete an apology. Newcastle deserve to be on this show. And they're proving why again, man. Top four is looking healthy. I'm not saying you're going to get it, but it's looking healthy. And, Pete, I would say, healthier now this stuff with Tottenham's happened as well. What are you saying? Yeah, I would agree. I was at the game on Friday. Um, unbelievable uh, away end. Um, lost my keys, lost my phone. Celebrating, <laughs> like, literally my keys, like, broke. Uh, my phone, thankfully, is okay. But, like, the, the, the atmosphere and the celebrations in the away end was just unreal. Like, it was crazy. Um and it was great to see. Like, look, you guys would have watched it. I don't know what your opinions are on, on the Forest game, but we, we we should have won that a lot more comfortable than we did. We didn't need a last-minute goal to win the game. Hit the bar twice. We had a goal wrongly disallowed, in my opinion. Um, and then we got the penalty in the last minute. And, like, it, it's, <clears throat> it's, what, it's what I've said a few weeks ago is that the Carabao Cup final was a distraction for Newcastle. First final in 24 years. Everyone was focused on that, including the manager, including the club in general. Everyone was on that. Now it's been and gone. Everyone's now focused on the Premier League football. And so for me, um, this is what we're seeing now. We're seeing an uprising in the form because everyone is now kind of central in terms of what we want. So for me... Um, it's great to have these last two wins. Um, we've got obviously Man United next after the after the internationals, which will be a really really big game, um, and that will test our resolve in terms of where we're at in, in, in the season. If we can go and win that, and it's at St James's Park, that that will give us massive confidence in going into the last what eleven games or so. Um, but but we'll see. Um, but confidence is high right now. Uh, we're playing really really well. And um, it's uh, it's good to see us back on the back on the charge again um, for European football. You guys have talked about Champions League football. Uh, are, are we within it? You can't say we're not. If, if we do beat Man United, it's an if we go on the, we go into third or, or fourth because we've got the same points as them. Better goal difference. Depending on this is depending on what Spurs do, by the way. But. It throws us back into the mix, and it, it, it's then all up in what the What happens, Pete, if you don't get Europe? If you come eighth, what happens? That's got to um, be a massive disappointing season. It, yeah, it could it, be uh, worse. You could be managed by Roy Hodgson. 
Like, so it won't be all bad. <laughs> but he's D on this. Yeah, D is. It's because of this. D's in the <laughs> chat saying, big up P. Big up P. Did in on purpose. But, no, but no, look, I, I, I'll be honest. I had us between 10th and 8th this season. I've said it to you before. But I've got to agree. If we don't finish in Europe, I, I would be disappointed about that. I we, think you would take we have, we have produced a season this season at Newcastle. He's already said he would so take that. Don't football. start this. Pete's already said that. He I would. just want him to say it. You would take the conference. You'd be happy with that. If you finish seventh, got conference, you take We that. We have produced a season this season that deserves European football, in my opinion. I don't, do any of you disagree with that? No, I, no, I no, 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 no. I just, I'm happy you put your stamp of approval on the Europa Conference League. Pete's put his stamp of approval on it. Jose's put his stamp of approval on it. That's good enough. Law, for lawless, me. lawless. We we haven't had we haven't had European football since 2012, since the, the Hatton Ben Arthur Papi Cisse day. So if you're going to give me any European football now, I'm going to take it. Of course, I'm. I'm not. I'm not privy to what the likes of Dan and, and Potts have have had in previous years in terms of getting Champions League in European football year upon year upon year. So I'm going to accept that, but. If you look at our season in isolation, we've been in and around fourth, fifth spot all season. So, should, should we should we be disappointed if we don't get European football? Of course, of yeah. course expectations should. change, man. Goalposts change. It's like Arsenal. We're not going to sit there and go second in your faces, everyone, because we're going to be disappointed. Well, Newcastle will be the last same. Year, last season, what were you saying? Oh, um, yeah. Well, I know we didn't get fourth. But I, maybe you weren't said, but your fans. But oh, no one expected us to get it's top rubbish. Four, so it's rubbish. It's not it's a rubbish. disappointment. It's disappointment. No it's it. absolutely a disappointment. If Arsenal don't win the league, it's absolutely a disappointment. If Man United drop out of top four, it's absolutely a disappointment. If Newcastle don't get Europe, it's absolutely a disappointment. If West Ham uh, go down, uh, so you know, for me, it's got to be. It's got to be said. Go on, Dan. Do you know? Do you know? What I loved it in the Forest game. Go on. Bet the moment of the match was Trippier taking the penalty. Looking like I thought he was taking it, and I was gutted he didn't because of my uh, my dream team. But when he, he takes it, he gets all of the all of the fuss. And then just before there you go, he's out. Have it, mate. Just that that is class. That is that is great. That is a great captain. That is a fantastic captain, by the way. Yeah, he has been good this season, man. I, I, I've got to say. Um, let's do a little predictions as we come to a, a kind of a close. Pete, we'll start with you, seeing as Newcastle with, well, in my opinion, I wouldn't even say they've put himself back into it because I've always thought they'd be in and around it but um, who's getting top four it's hotting up man I think there's some that are definitely in it but Pete mm. start with you bro what are you saying um, yeah sorry if you can hear anything in the background it's the missus making a, a cup of tea so um, no worries <laughs> the, the, the one thing I, the one thing I'll say is is that we we are we are in, we're, we're in the race we're, we're in the race with, with the likes of Man United with the likes of Spurs uh, with that, so Liverpool, we are in the race right now. Um, do I see us finishing in the top four? I, I can see it. With Tottenham, and, and you guys have talked about it tonight, with Tottenham falling how they've fallen, I did not expect them to draw and drop points at Southampton. I watched that game for the pretty much the majority of that 90 minutes. They, they were not good at all. Um, and with them losing Conte... And getting potentially Ryan Mason, I think that falls that that actually falls into our favour, um, and we could potentially benefit from that. I do think Man United will get Champions League football, um, goes without saying, but I think we are a team that could benefit from that. Um, you look at we, tonight on loaded, we will look at, the, at the, the next number of games. You look at Liverpool's next few games, very very difficult. We've got an opportunity to to stretch points beyond them in the next three or four games. Um, and I think Liverpool and Tottenham have games between now and then the season that are quite difficult for them. Uh, so I think we're in the race. Um, whether I think we've got top four is a little yeah. Yeah, you'll give us your definite. Just put it down. Give us your definitive. Give me your, I'll tell you what, let's do. Two let's minutes. all do this. Let's all do this. Give Pete start with you, right? And this will be the last thing we do. Give me your top four in order, one to four. There we go. Um, Dan's, you know what's coming your way after this. Same question. 
Okay. Um, the, way, the way it's going at the moment, I think Arsenal will win the league. I've ummed and odd on that over the course of the season. You know that, Pots, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, Man City second. Uh, on our show earlier on tonight, I was confident. I thought we, we, we could break into the top four. I I put us fourth. Or I may, may even put us third. I think I put us third. Um, with, with the way with the way our results are going right now. Um, but I, I'd put us in the top four. As a man, you you could argue which way we, we, we're going to go, uh, especially if we win at St James's Park. Um, and then I'll after that I've got Liverpool, Tottenham, and then Brighton after that. That's a massive top four. That's like, geez. yeah, a fair play to him. He's gone. He's gone even more. I like the D's in the chat. Pick up D's. Says I'll go with Arsenal, City, United, and then West Ham. <laughs> you know, um, I, I, I'll give you my top four. And I'll give you a little bonus at the end of it. I'll give you a little bonus. Uh, uh, do I want to hear the bonus? I want to hear the bonus. Number one, Manchester City. Ooh. Number two, Arsenal. Number three, Manchester United. And number four, Liverpool. Ooh. Now, uh, yeah, I think they'll edge it. I think they'll edge it. I think Newcastle, I don't think they'll, they've got enough there to cinch it. And Tottenham are going to implode. Mason ain't getting no top four. Now, I'll give you my bottom three. 20th is going to be Southampton. 19th is going to be Knott's Forest. Ooh. Yeah, Knott's Forest. And uh, 18th will be Roy Hodgson's Crystal Palace are going down. The He's oldest doing... manager in world <laughs> football. Look at Forest Fancy. Oh, he's not happy. <laughs> Mono 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 in the relegation. Oh, love it. Forest going down. We've not counted. Say not counting. Better than not. Counting. Counting. Not, counting. 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 Mate, not that's... in the Premier League. That's what you'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, you can tell this. I mean, this is supposed to be the Race for Europe show, and you know, it takes lawless to talk about relegation. Wow, that's a um, clue, hasn't it? Imagine that's put a couple of people in their place, you know what I mean? Yeah, a, a couple you of people, I mean? one in one in uh, one in these particular. D, D, D's coming back, he's telling you to keep Pots, his you can't have a you can't have a 75 year old manager here who's been retiring, like you know what I mean, crocheting and shit for the past year and a, whatever. Listen, you just him over money. It's Come absolutely on. mad. Vieira should have stayed, in my opinion, but yeah. results, business, and all that. Uh, but Bring we'll talk about that tomorrow night. Oh, we'll about he's that called tomorrow. you out, D. Um, um, uh, uh, Lorna, sorry, D's called you out. Hundred, it's more than 170 million, it's 200 plus because you well, signed yeah, things in that in, in January, isn't it? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, you have Moyes and we'll have Vieira and then we'll see what's what in it. Yeah. Oh, we'll look at that. Um, there's nice your top pack. four. There's Pete's top four. Dan, what's your top four? Is my mic still on? So it keeps going. Yeah, dodgy. go on, mate. You're yes, really back. good now. Go on. Um, yeah, you, I'm going to shock you with this. Um, so Arsenal, I think, I think they're going to do it. I do. Second will be City. I think because United are in the FA Cup, Europa League, mm. I think Newcastle will get third. And I think I think United, Ooh. but I think United comfortably get fourth. I think I think comfortably wow. get fourth. I just worry that we are we are at this point now where we could run out of steam a little bit, playing a lot of football. We've played the most games in Europe now, so I'm kind of I'm a bit concerned about that. As for is going still down, still not qualified. Is with if, if you get fourth, do you still got to play a qualifying game? No, not anymore. Not anymore. Go used straight to. Into it, straight into it now. Used to. Yeah, I think we're to. very close. We're very close in the next couple of years to opening up to five teams getting Champions League football with our coefficient. Yeah. Oh, Lawless. Really close to that Lawless point. will be back oh, on. Lawless, Lawless will be well be excited. Oh, they're definitely <laughs> getting fifth in a couple of years when they get Poch and Zidane and all these managers in. I mean, uh, now we'll be winning the league, mate. We'll be winning uh, the league. Course, they'll be right back. Um, um, man, just fair quick, play to you, man. Just a quick one as well. Relegation. 20th, I'm going to go Southampton. Look at this guy. 19th. I'm going to go West Ham. 
Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 you got 50 right. quid on it, mate. You got 50 no, quid no, on let it. Let me finish. Oi, <laughs> let me finish. We listen to your gem of fucking knowledge. Let me give you mine. Because you're still in Europe, mate, I think there's turmoil there. I think there's turmoil there. Distraction, then. Distraction, I'm telling you. I'm yeah. telling you. No, you you know, are... I think Europe has been our saving grace because we, we, we got battered to flipping Brighton. And then we've got the Europa League to distract it. So uh, Conference League, we win in there, and it takes a little bit of the the negativity away. So it's a nice palate cleanser. It's yeah, nice it is. Right. The, the longer you every stay, week, the... every week you go back to the Premier League and you go, "Oh, we're shit again." That's what you do after Europe. You go back um, to the Premier exactly. League, exactly. And when you do say, that, you're heading the longer the, drop, you, mate. the longer you're in Europe, and the longer you're. Going, we could win the European trophy. We could be European trophy. The players start thinking about that more than their weekend game. Yeah, see, you that, need to get out of here, Lord. Drop out of that. Make sure you're safe, it, mate. They're thinking, safe. they're thinking about winning. They're thinking about lifting the trophy, which, which is ultimately let, let, let's be honest, Lawless. That's what you're thinking about right now. You're thinking about lifting a European trophy, and you told us every week, and that's absolutely fine. But with that okay. comes a distraction with your with your bread and butter, which is the Premier League. Lawless, Lawless, let me ask you this, right? Final game of the season's 28th of May, 27th of May? Leicester away, yeah. Say say you're in the final, mate, and you get relegated on the last game of the season. Do you still want Moyes taking charge of that final? Or do you want Mark no. Noble or Kevin Nolan? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. G <laughs> give, give it to Nobzy. Give it Nobzy to end the season. <laughs> right? That's what I say. Give it fucking nobsy if that happens. I wouldn't want that. That oh, I don't even know. I don't want to say what I will I feel about that guy. But yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to see him. But listen, next game is against Southampton, right? I'm putting everything on that game. If you lose that, that game, I think he'll get sacked. If he loses, I, I think he'll get sacked. If he lose that I, game, I yeah. Now I'll start to feel like we're down if we lose that game. But don't However, on Southampton, mate. They've picked up two points against United and and Spurs in the last two games. Is it West Ham? Yeah. What is that? West Ham, yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah, think yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think yeah. you'll beat them, if I'm honest. But I think it's a draw. like Dan says, I think Southampton are, are doing well under this new guy. They're doing better than they were under Hassan Hu and Jones. So let's see what that happens. Game's um, massive. It is it's massive. It's massive. Let's, let's, yeah. Let me let me give For you sure. mine and then we'll wrap up because we all oh, need right, to go to bed. I forgot about you. Yeah. Let me yeah. give you mine and my, I'll give you my relegation free if you want. Um top four, uh, top four in order. Uh, I'm going for my boys to win it. Arsenal. Second, Man City. Third, Man United. And fourth, I'm going to... Don't do, it. Don't do make... it, Pop. Don't do no, it. No, I'm going to surprise you all. I'm going to say Spurs. Okay. Oh. I don't want this to happen, by the way. I don't want for them to get full. I want oh, to be Newcastle. Mate. But I don't think Newcastle have got the squad. I don't think that Liverpool look defensively good enough. And I think with Harry Kane, Tottenham have always got a chance of winning games, man. So, yeah. Money makes I hope it ain't that. Through. I really, I really Pete's hope face, it ain't Pete's that. face when you said Spurs. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, who knows it? If I had a choice, yeah. I'd, want New I'd want Newcastle. Guy. This guy's been kicking your ass all season. I had him stabbing it. And I remember what I said. Remember what I said. I said they're turning on you. You were waiting for fourth. You were waiting for him to say you and you went. No, no, no. I wasn't. You know what? I was expecting to say Brighton. I was expecting to say Brighton. No, Brighton have got a chance. But I honestly believe I want Newcastle to get it. I've said that from day dot. I want Newcastle. No, listen. You've ruined it now. It's over. Listen, you can't say nothing, my friend. fight all season. I'm you're loving. Who's, who's, who's your bottom three pots? Who's your bottom New three? Newcastle fans, I told you I'd be honest with you. I told you I'd be real with you, and I've been nothing but consistent. Pots and everyone has been putting you I mean, on this pedestal. Slate, also slated my decision to bring Pete into this show. So I just remember that, people. Just whoa, remember whoa, whoa, that. Listen, I, you know what I mean? I like Pete. I like Pete. I'm just. Hey, saying. you like Pete? You just thought Newcastle should have no place in the Race for Europe show. That's what you told me. It's on. It's on record, mate. Up. Everyone heard it. Yeah, so just hush your gums, enjoy your relegation <laughs> battle, yeah, and leave the race of the Europe show it. to us next season. You'll be down in the other show, all right? So just Lisa, no, enjoy not this in Europe. We'll be, in, we'll be in Europe League. Lisa's Lisa's got to cancel subscription pots off the, off the back of this. <laughs> I suggest you change it now. Now, what are you talking about, mate? I didn't realize you did You did a show for the championship, so how is he going to be out in <laughs> anything that we do? Best, best believe, no, best believe if we're in the championship and in the Europa League. 
we will still be in a race for Europe because what do you get if you win the Europa League? Huh? Champions League, Europe. So I we're love still it. in the race. Did you see him? Did you see him? He went, he went, he went, he went. Best believe. Best believe. <laughs> yeah. You best believe. We, I'm telling well, you. Listen, let's just wait for that to happen. Like, I, we, I, I, feel, I feel bad. I feel bad because I do love Newcastle. I do want them to get top four. But I just think now they got rid of, of Conte. I still think they've that that will just give them a little bit of a lift and Harry Kane and if he stays fit. I think we'll get them fourth, but I'm hoping I'm rubbish. I'm hoping I'm talking rubbish, man, because I'd love Newcastle to get it three? or Brighton. Bottom you... three, um, Southampton. As much as I think they've picked it up, I don't see them um, not going down. Bournemouth, likewise, I don't see them not going down. Uh, and Nottingham Forest, as much as I really like them, love what Steve Cooper's done. I just feel like their away form is going to send them to the championship. They, Palace done your hero off. dirty, though, for some OAP, like retiree pensioner. Um, I'm not ageist, by the way, but this is football, you know. Come Palace on. ain't going down, man. Roy Hodgson will not send them to relegation. He won't. He won't. They've got, too, many, they got too much. Like West Ham. Like West Ham, should, well, they should have too much. Like Palace should have too much. I think Wolves... What is Roy Hodgson going to do with Eze and Elise and all of them? Like, what is... well, well, we'll soon find out. But Wait, it's going to be listen. Hodgson Ball is back. We'll see. I hope uh, Forest don't go down, by the way, because I like Forest. The one thing I'll say is, is that Palace have got, I think, six games now that are all winnable, that all the teams yeah, in yeah, around yeah. them. So for, the, for, so for them, it, it could be almost like they're brought in back for those six games, and those six games could keep them in the league. Should have gave it to Vieira, wait. man. I just can't wait for the end of the season when we've got Lawless on here when he's been relegated and dubbed out of Europe. Honestly, I, I cannot wait for it. I just can't wait for your fucking face. Honestly. If that happens, it's, if that oh happens, I don't care, yeah. Honestly. I will come out swinging, yeah. I will come out <laughs> full venom. How, how will you? How are you going to do that? Because what else have I got to do? Like, nothing listen. else left. <laughs> Yeah. I'll come yeah, out be like Ian Bill. Bill. If that happens, you're not coming out swinging. I'm there gonna is be no yeah. way. Uh, yeah, uh, it's Pops, Pops, Dan, and Tomes will not allow you to come out. Every on. single one of you, yeah. Um, you're gonna you're gonna feel the venom of Lawless, yeah. You're gonna feel it. Because I'm gonna be that sounds like a shit aftershave. <laughs> hey, this I might have to trademark that. I'm just D, saying, like, D, the chat try, to, try something in. Gonna be on that show. D's oh, gonna want to be on that I'm show. I'm gonna invite. Well. I'm gonna invite D on that show when you go out of Europe. I'm gonna. I will D. not go quietly into the night. Yeah, <laughs> I will not. Independence Day. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I love this <laughs> super chat. Big up, James. Day, Look at this. Moyes, Moyes will have to sign Fellaini and Naismith. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> that is quality. They might bang. That's quality. <laughs> oh, that's they might brilliant. bang, you know. Oh, he yeah, tried to sign Fellaini, I think, when he what, was... What, current there. Fellaini and Naismith? Currently. I think... Imagine. I think, no. I think Moyes tried to sign him. They'd be first. fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, honestly. Um, listen, guys, we're going to wrap it up there, man. We've been going way too long. Um, I can't believe we started the show talking about Liverpool for what seemed like forever, but there we go. We couldn't get off of it. Um, they didn't even guys, play this week. Yeah. I know, didn't even play this week, but Errol was loving to, loving to talk about Liverpool's future. Um, big up Lawless, big up Dan, big up Pete. Um, Pete and Dan, by the way, started Pete. Plug your, your channel, man, because you've got such a good channel there, Pete. Stuff you've got going on is is banging, man. Everyone needs to head over. So what what you've had up to him, bruv? Yeah, loading mag in the FC. You can see it in the description. We've um we've got lots going on. Um we we did a European kind of weigh-in tonight. Um so if you haven't caught that, catch it up. Um we've actually got a few of the boys coming on Thursday to talk about Battleground Europe. Um it's our third show of, uh, over the course of the season. Looking at third to seventh, who could potentially get there? Obviously, Lord, man, you your Arsenal's and your Man City's <laughs> are done and dusted. I got my invite. Um, the invite. Well, I, I, funny enough, he, I, didn't get, I didn't get an invite for that. No, no, must, no, must be doing something well, I reckon. Pots, Pots, you're always invited, but you are literally going to be looking down on all of his minions and just gloating. It'll be, it'll be like every week on this show, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <come laughs> exactly. on. But, but, yes, oh, Pots, Pots, you are always more than welcome. But we're know, we're, we're just assessing what's going on and who's going to be able to get the third, fourth, fifth, 
sixth, seventh spot in the, and the trophy. In, in the Premier League this season. So <laughs> we're going to assess all those things. And like, although Lawless won't necessarily get those spots because he's hanging his hat on Europa Conference. Is that's playing? why he's in the conversation. So <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be an interesting chat on Thursday. Uh, that's for sure. And um, we've got some more um, we've got some more Newcastle content coming uh, this week as well as next week as well. So so yeah, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Come and join us on Loaded Mag NFC. Um, lots lots of content coming in the next stuff. week or two. Come on, people, get up there, get Pete and the channel up to 6K as quickly as possible. Come on, guys. Um, Lawless is like a bad smell, isn't he? You can't get rid of him. Like, literally, he's saying, Oh, come on. Oh, come on, that show. I'm still in the Europa Conference League. Well, well, well. <laughs> I got the invite. <laughs> I got the invite. Lawless, where can they find you, mate? Listen, West Ham Fan TV. We're on the race to 70K. So help us get there. Um, a lot of content. I've, apparently, my uncle's getting me a ticket to the final, so there'll be some content there. Even if, for God forbid, we don't make it to the final, I'm filming a fucking video. Um, Fiorentina and Alex will be a good final, mate, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, I listen. Listen, we'll go. I'll still go. So, yeah, look out for that at the Lawless on Twitter. Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter and join the chaos Imagine there. Join into myself. the West Ham fan TV for the final, and it's Fiorentina versus Alkmaar. Who <laughs> 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 have they got next? Is it Gen? Gen. 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 with his half and half scarf on. <laughs> oh, 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 I'll buy a half and half scarf. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's, oh, it's in listen. Prague. The finals in Prague. So yeah, man. I'm you enjoy at, it, I'm my friend. Prague will be great people. anyway. Prague. I mean, like you know, it's like I, I would even love to go Bud uh, Budapest. Just even if no, now that we're not in it, because Budapest is quality. Prague is quality as well. So fair play. Um, yeah. Dan, new channel, bro. Promote it. Plug it. What's happening with it? Yes. So um, as you know, for 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 the whole season, I've been at Football One. It's finally, it's not gone, but I've I've started my, my, my separate channel now. So as you can see below, it's at United First eighteen seventy eight. The YouTube channel is on the way. Uh, I, I see a message in there, Geordie Tune for life. I have been putting some stuff out on TikTok at the moment. Yeah, I'm thirty six and TikTok, and I'm fucking loving life. Honestly, <laughs> absolutely loving life. If you want to come on there and see a few of my opinions, uh, it's United First. So it's United. United with a one instead of the I because you know what it's a brave new world we'll change the words around if we need to we'll change the letters <laughs> but come and uh, show your support get some get some followers on there um as I say in the summer got so many so many good ideas coming for for the YouTube channel um and I'm absolutely I'm absolutely looking forward to it I can't wait and this has all been from the support of everybody on this channel they've been pushing me to do this they've been helping me to become a better creator uh, content creator on this so it's because of all you guys that I'm taking this plunge and actually getting everything out there uh, for Manchester United, so thank you very much, everyone. Oh, well done, man. You deserve Apart from it, Lawless, he can go fuck himself. Going to the fucking final, honestly. I love it. I fucking <laughs> love it. I just love it. I love this it. Be fun. Yeah, mate, it's happening. I lo Wicked. Lawless, I love you, mate. You know that. Absolutely Wicked. love you, mate. Fucking love you. <laughs> Guys. Much love to everybody in the chat as well because you make the show what it is. Um, big up to everybody else that's come on tonight. I uh, had to leave earlier. Errol, big up Lewis, big up Tobes. Big up Pete, Dan and Lawless. Uh, we're going to be back next week. Please make sure you smash a like on this. Get me up to 8K as quickly as possible, people. Subscribe if you're new uh, and follow everybody on socials and get all of their content um, watched as well. We'll see you next time. Until then, up the Arsenal. And hopefully... The international break won't cause too much of us to miss football too much. Southgate out. Take care, people. I love you, Wallace.